healing gems. Kerbathia, my fucking man, how you doing? Hey. Doing good, doing good. How you doing? Oh, you know, I'm living well, man. <laughs> Go and at. In there. Oh yeah. All right. There we go. Oh, cool. Getting going. Getting going. You know it's funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eighties. We're also talking. We're all saying about ba ba Baba Booey. It's eighty-seven LA. We may actually meet Howard Stern out here. <laughs> yeah, he'd be still living in the area. <laughs> He's still a thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh hi. You you come to say hello before he's not allowed you in here? Tell him. You didn't tell him. I didn't tell. I'm going to be streaming now, Puppers. You're not going to be allowed in here. No, you're allowed. You're annoying. You're cute, but still belong in a garbage dump. Wow. Wow. Damn. Some strong feelings. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You have him like bark constantly, and keep you awake and shit. No, that's why I don't have dogs. <laughs> I've, I've, I've already got two, two, two. Years. I've got two needy, loud cats, and that's good enough for me. <clears throat> All right, bye, doggo. We're live. We're getting, getting ready. Bye. Get him out. Don't forget to put the gate back up. I don't want him coming in here and doing shit. Doing shit. Have you. All right. All right. All right. All right. I just gotta wait till Lemon's in here. Whoever is using cameras, put the cameras on, and then I should be able to move shit around. I love everyone's characters. Yeah, Ski it's all. Bob, Luther Jackson. It's all uh, pretty good shit. Yeah, but you can call me LJ. <laughs> me Smirnoff. Is it me or my? I think it's my. My, Smir my Smirnoff? My Smirnoff? Hey, no, it's your Smirnoff. No, it's <laughs> my Smirnoff. I don't know. I accidentally inhaled some beer and now I'm still coughing the shit up. Oh, what are you drinking? Uh, my favorite, Creamore. Yeah, uh, Creamore. I uh, went to the LCBO, I got a bone shaker. Oh. Yeah, love me a good IPA. I'm not as much of an IPA fan, but... I got a Creamore Lager. Lager. I love my lager. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, just waiting for the lamb tea. And we can get ourselves organized and we can get ourselves sodded. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's session one. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. I was saying I had to, I had to toss on a uh, 80s playlist in the background for myself. Oh, yeah, I've got my mixtapes. I, I have to add that to my character sheet for sure. Yeah, I've got ah. myself a uh, synthwave copyright free playlist. Mixture of like Harris yeah. Heller, no copyright sound, all of that good stuff. Yeah, so, I, was, I was looking up stuff before 87 just so it like fits, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> There's so many songs I wish I could play, but then it won't work that well. Not if I want yeah. these not if I want these videos to do well. <clears throat> um I have four different Spotify playlists right now that contain like music from 87 and earlier. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah I made sure to specifically be before 87. <laughs> I'm just listening to Billie Eilish. Yeah. Yeah. The bad guy? Yeah, just that song on repeat <clears throat> over and over again. Hey, the lemon cheese in here. I gotta admit, some of her tunes like have good beats to them. Oh, some of them do oh, yeah. absolutely slap, but that's true with all pop music, right? Although I didn't really appreciate Billie Eilish nearly as much until I started playing Fuser and could like fuck with her tracks. Mm. I, yeah, I, I actually like Billie Eilish's songs. Yeah, not bad at all. Honestly, most of what I listen to is just the radio because like I don't, I, I drive an old fucking Hyundai. So mm. I just listen to the radio. I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I can't live like that. Her song for uh, the James Bond movie was fantastic, though. Got to for sure. I don't know if I've actually I've heard, heard it. it. I don't think I've heard it. I don't really watch James Bond, so I don't know. 
Well, hey, no everyone's in the right spot. Wow, oh, I don't, I don't have go. to shuffle things around. Yeah, everyone is in the right spot, and I was just able to make um, talking with Adam blank because he's that way. He's just, just you know, his camera matches the personality, and we're, we're all good. As Adam turns on his camera, <laughs> <laughs> just ruins it all. Yeah, he's gonna Son turn on just some of things. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Actually, even if he turns it on right now, I think I think we're all it's still so good. I'll just start dragging people in from the other chats. <laughs> yeah. <Let> the... <laughs> That's good. Agent of Chaos. Hello. 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 Oh, Hello. Getting ourselves set up and ready. I'm just adjusting a few faces here. People are sitting in just slightly different places here. Oh. I watch everyone like shifts dramatically to one side or the other. Thanks. <laughs> We should be good. Should be good. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. I think we're settled enough. I can like show her off our pretty faces to the stream. Yeah. Yeah. There well, yeah. we go. I was saying I, I had to represent with the friendo hat the first session of this game. Yeah. I don't know where mine's upstairs. I actually was like wearing it outside because needed a hat because I'm bald. <laughs> I don't have hair. I wear it like everywhere. I wear it all the time. Just grow the beard long enough so you can curl <laughs> it up over your head. Yeah, no, I, I, I was keeping it trimmed for a while, but I'm actually kind of letting it grow now. Yeah, like I've seen guys like for like a mask, they're like, like putting it up under, <laughs> and over their mouth and stuff. It's pretty funny. Like, I don't even need to wear a mask. I have a beard. Yeah. So, as it's approaching that time, does anyone else need any last second changes or have any last second questions before your characters are all locked in and we're good to go? You did it, Bobby, I think. Savage. <clears throat> what? Did you have questions about items you didn't pick on no, your sheet? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Got it? You sure? Okay. Uh, Kirby, I added your special items that you had listed for me. They're thank in you, there, you. already got them equipped and everything. <sighs> I saw your armor and stuff wasn't equipped either, so I clicked equip for you so that your AC changed and stuff. Um, hopefully I cleaned most of the, anything up that might have been nebulous in the character sheets. There may still be one or two things because most of the characters were imported from D&D Beyond rather than just uh, creating them in Foundry, so <clears throat> some, of the, some of the abilities used may still have little side sticks to them there's nothing we can do about that um it's it's the toss-up between creating in foundry making sure everything works or the easier method of creating in D, &D beyond but then everything doesn't always work properly <laughs> so that's the toss-up we gotta deal with it sounds like foundry need to uh, work on a few things no no the foundry side works it's the D, &D beyond side that doesn't because uh, I, I sat down and I got everything in Foundry to actually like be properly working and everything. It's when you import from D and D Beyond that things get broken. Yeah, but it sounds like a Foundry thing. <sighs> well, if you removed D and D Beyond from the equation, it would work perfectly fine. But why they offer that service if it doesn't work? Well, they don't. It's a third-party mod. mod. Oh, it's a mod. Foundry doesn't offer that shit at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like a modder needs to get that shit together. If we uh, if we played with base foundry, uh, everything would look entirely different. Yeah, it, it would. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of functionality that would not be there. <clears throat> What's this modder? I'll have my agent get to him. <laughs> um, <laughs> some dude that disappears for large swaths of time, apparently. So we'll find him. Like not not as not as long uh large swaths of time as as certain like content creators that I can I can think of but uh he, he disappears for a while you're calling me out hard today actually Ooh. I was I was actually talking about the creator of of the berserk series for like manga and and, and stuff uh, that guy disappears for literally years at a time one time they almost declared him dead oh damn yeah sorry what show berserk berserk, berserk. Yeah, the, the, the manga slash anime or whatever, like that. The creator of that has just he'll like write a new like arc and then just go away, like from society. 
he disappears for for long periods of time. <laughs> and then he'll just like come out of the wilderness and be like, I have a new story. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Or his plot saying apparently he is dead. He's he what? Yeah, he, he passed away. I think I remember hearing that. Did he pass away finally? Like, yeah. No. <laughs> finally. <laughs> well, yeah. What the fuck? He was almost declared hey. dead several times. I, it's like cry wolf situation, you know? <clears throat> Did he die like last year? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Kentaro no, yeah. Miura, May died. 6th, 2021. Yeah, oh, there we go. Year. Yeah, so he just died. Yeah. Damn. No more berserk. That's fine. It, yeah, he, he would never would have finished it within his lifetime with how slow he wrote it anyways. He's been writing it since what, the 80s? Yeah. The only reason I remember is because in Final Fantasy 14, the community just got, everybody got on their dark nights and just like, you know, did a memorial for him. Oh. I see. The dark knight has like the big sword, like the berserk guy. Oh, <clears throat> uh, that's weird. Like guts. Yeah, and then they put down their bonfires too. I don't get that part but they did all right sure <laughs> i was like is this a dark souls reference yeah, Platt, now? Platt was saying he passed as well and then he's also talking about the vigil yeah yeah <clears throat> well it looks like he you know did he die or did he just disappear into the wilderness again oh can he you, did can you confirm <laughs> he thought he died before i'm using my powers oh okay no he's not dead actually he's I still hear him. Mr. <clears throat> Xavier, <laughs> using the mind powers. That's right. Or his son. His son's got major mind powers. So well, I probably, I'm using the hearing powers from Encanto. <laughs> I probably should mention that I have a passive perception of 21, but I'm also a cobalt who um, has sunlight sensitivity. You got the cool shades, so it's all good. It's all good. Beautiful. <clears throat> They're like special shades where they like block out the sun or something. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, most the... sunglasses block out the sun. Isn't that the point? And at night. I think yeah. that's why they call them sunglasses. <laughs> oh shit, is that why? <laughs> I, I probably. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> or he Kirby. said the sunlight hurts their eyes. So like, you know how like a Cyclops has the thing with, you know, the special glasses. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are special glasses. That's true. They block sunlight. <clears throat> All right, we're done picking on Kirby. I'm done picking on Adam. I'll move on to someone else. <laughs> Let's pick on the group in general. Um, all right, so I think we're pretty much ready to start. Um, let's do a little bit of an intro, then we're going to do a little bit of uh, character intros, and then we're just going to jump right into this. Um, first of all, do the session shit. Also, my music's still a little high. <clears throat> all right, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me, like coughing into the mic a bit i tried to inhale lager and uh, apparently beer is not a breathable substance so i'm still expelling it from my lungs it does not work Maybe out well air technically die after like 80 90 years usually from it yeah air is pretty poisonous i get that yeah. all right let's begin Corrosive. los angeles 1987 even a decade after the 7.0 earthquake caused pretty bad damage to the city, it's still recovering. But what the normal everyday people don't know is that it was so much more than that. The supernatural world flooded the city of Los Angeles, and the world was forever changed. The disbelief of your average citizen is strong, strong enough that they don't see the strangeness of every day. Something the supernatural people want to keep that way. Because the day that the world realizes they exist is the day that fear and hate will get turned against them. The government of the United States of America realized what was happening and that something, someone was needed. 
Someone talented. Someone with experience. Someone with the iron hot balls of steel needed to enforce the law among the supernatural. And that man was John Maverick, who promptly died on his first day of the job. And so it was given to the unhinged, rage-filled man of high-octane, cocaine-fueled, badassery known as Jack Stryker. With Jack's crackpot team of supernatural misfits walking the beat, he'll kick this town's ass into shape. And that brings us to today. Early in the morning on a Saturday, as the team gathers in front of the library that acts as the front for the office of XLA, that's when they hear the commotion down the street. A stifled scream, and then silence. The uneasy look of civilians around staring at the storefront. Welcome to XLA. Now, before we get into reactions to that, first, let's describe who the hell are we looking at first? So I would like to start out with our Strikers agent, starting with Luther Jackson, Luther LJ Jackson. Um, hey. Tell us a little bit about you. What do you look like? What do you do? What, what do you What do you act like? That type of thing. Um, so Luther Jackson is um, an Earth Genasi, but uh, he, he he passes pretty well for just a black guy. <laughs> um, he's got a like like a like like a nice thick beard. Um, he keeps his hair in dreads. Um, he is almost always wearing like um, like a tracksuit, like 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 tank top and 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 sweatpants. Like he, like never jeans or anything like that. Um, he is always carrying a Walkman, and he's all like a Sony Walkman. He's always got his headphones on. Um, he. Uh, He's genuinely a sweet guy. Like if you get to know him and you're on his good side, he is, he's very loving and, and affectionate. He treats you like like, like he, he he's he, he loves kids. He loves like like, like teaching and, and stuff like that and, and, and instilling good uh, values into kids. So he tries to kind of like he tries to fill that father role sometimes um, or that like kind of like a I don't know like um just role model. He tries try tries he's, 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 he tries to be a role model. Um, and he hates he, he 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 hates drugs. He absolutely one hundred percent hates drugs and what they do to his neighborhood and society. And he is uh, so he 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 he, he uh, disco discovering supernatural drugs existed rocked his world and uh, made it so he had to be a part of this team. Oh shit. I, I I feel like we wish the the song da like the song from Dangerous Minds uh, had had been invented or LL Cool J needs to do his shit a little early. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I also feel like you're the reason the PSA for staying sc staying school don't do drugs is like a thing. Yeah, <laughs> actually on local TV he he did do a TV spot with, with like. <laughs> With just that message, don't be a fool, stay in school, don't do drugs. drugs Remember kids, dogs. stay in school, don't do drugs. <laughs> yeah. You want to be strong and cool like me, you don't do drugs. <laughs> Word. As he like bench presses a car. Awesome. You're like the, the local version of, of uh, Mr. T. I love yeah. it. So uh, next we're gonna go to is it is it my Smirnoff or me me Smirnoff? My 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 Smirnoff. Uh, all right. What's uh, so, what, yeah. What's up? My is um use is an ex Russian uh, mafia member sent um over the seas to gain more land and influence like uh, for the um for the uh, mafia, but uh, once you know xla catches on to her she's blackmailed into it basically um for the most part she's like really tall she's for especially like for a woman obviously she stands at 6'3 uh she has like a muscular build um she has like nice long hair that's dyed like totally like platinum and her favorite color is red because she likes you know the blood of her enemies um She's slowly becoming um, what's considered normal because, you know, she's not really from America. So she's like, she's still getting, you know, used to the customs here. Uh, 
she loves fashion. She, um, everything is name brand. <laughs> everything has to be name brand. Um, and she is a powerhouse. She's strong as hell. She wish it, she wish a bitch would. Nice. I like it. Yeah. So she's, <laughs> she's getting used to moving from the Soviet Union to the U S and yeah. which is a very, very different life. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, hard, hard communism that is slowly falling apart to the U.S., which is slowerly falling apart. Mm. It's the Reagan yeah. year. The Reagan years had its ups and downs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's who she is. All right. Uh, moving on next, we got Michael C. Campbell. Tell us a little bit about you. Michael C. Campbell is a movie star. He's been in like all the hit movies. So like Top Gun, it's, or I don't know, just whatever movies came out in the eighties, right? <laughs> just like a really cocky smoke star on a set of like a horror movie. Got uh, a brush with some paranormal stuff. Seen some stuff. So after then he uh, about to destroy it, I guess. All right, all right. So you're like the the Johnny Cage of the group. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Uh, next, we're gonna look at Ski Bop. Ski Bop. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself here? Oh. Uh, they call me Ski Bop because my mom liked to ski and my dad liked to bop. I'm just a uh, an old rusty gate, you know, creaking when I swang. Um, I'm a cobalt with red scales, riding the scales. I wear sunglasses, but you know, I don't got glasses on. I see everything in 2020 vision. I love coffee, cigarettes, smart mouth women, and sweet, sweet music. Um, he's kind of like, he's a jazz musician bard, kind of crossed with a 1980s gumshoe detective. I like it. I like it. I feel like there's probably some beat poetry mixed in there as well. Oh yeah. A little bit of blues too. Like it's a variety of things for this character. It's got that groovy vibe going on. I like it. All right. Yeah, smooth and groovy. Uh, next, we're gonna look at John Blaze. All right. Um. Well, he was he like he always wanted to be a stuntman and ride motorcycles and stuff. So that's what he ended up doing when he was when he was growing up, and he ended up getting into a bad accident and died and made a pact with another being to come back. And that's your your pact. The the being bringing you back, doing some some fiery things, doing getting getting justice stuff. revenge. Yeah. All right, I like it. All right, and last but not least, we got Alex Murphy. No one's ever heard of this character before, so go ahead and describe what it's all about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> RoboCop. Uh, yeah, he, uh, so he, uh, basically was really good cop back in the day. Um, but he rubbed the, someone the wrong way and it ended up costing him dearly. And somehow out of sheer magic <laughs> last year, somehow he came back and is now this powerhouse of a detective cop and was recruited for that and we'll see where he goes with that but he's he's got a kind of a bone to pick with someone yeah <laughs> he's yeah. still trying to figure out who exactly but you uh yeah, yeah cuz i guess you if you're doing the whole robocop thing your memories are kind of semi scrambled probably right now aren't they a little oh, bit yeah. a little bit he doesn't know what he knows he died that's the only thing he knows he just doesn't know how and by who exactly but he'll you, find out you will remember the wizard that brought you back maldoon the archmage um his his bungalow is now actually on the on the map um to check it out um yeah so you will remember that bit at least but we got our our dude, our magically enchanted Robocop. More like Magicop, I guess. 
um, brought brought back and going to be kicking some ass, <laughs> taking names, bringing them to jail. All right, I like it. Let's go. Don't Let's cross go. me. <laughs> Don't cross me. All right. So with that, as I said, you heard a commotion down the street, um, just a, a little bit, little bit down to the west of you, and. There was a, a scream, but it was stifled very quickly, and there's no other sounds after that. Um, are you guys just going to assume, ah, it's Compton in L.A., whatever, move on, go up to the office, or are you going to go check it out? Anyone? No. I mean, we, we, we definitely got to check it out, make sure everybody's okay. I agree. Sure. All right. Well then. Well then. Well then. Well then. Also, as a side note, all of the playlists are named, and you can find them in the items tab if anybody is curious as to what I'm listening to. I might take you up on that. <clears throat> okay. So let's move us over to this, so we can see the map a little bit better for the moment. Docky person. So, um, that's just like a random dude sitting at a bus stop. Um, I didn't, I like screwed one or two things up in this map. That's fine. It looks okay. Uh, all right. So that brings us to your, your, you've like gone down the street a little bit and you can see, just make it easier to I put a little icon there, but you can see to the Southwest of you. Um, there's a couple of dudes kind of standing outside with this car, like parked half up onto the curb. Um, and you knowing the supernatural can see that they're like these big burly orc dudes um they've got they've got some like big like war axes with them as well as some guns now of course the general people don't see this they probably just see like normal people thugs um, but you realize that there's more to them than meets the eye and they're just kind of sitting uh, standing there and one is like purposely like standing in front of the door like arms crossed blocking it in a very unmistakable manner of you no one's coming into this store right now and uh, above the store it is labeled um uh, uh millie's jewelry shop okay um so we notice and see that there's something else mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to walk up to this bystander here and uh, I'll get like on this side of him and uh, look at him and be like, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm pretty good. Waiting for the bus. Man, what's happening over there? Uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, where are you going, friend? On the bus. On the bus? I mean, like, what, like, like, whereabouts are you taking the bus to? You a cop? Yes. Oh, no, nowhere. Nowhere? No. You're not in trouble. It just might be dangerous for you to be around here, and I was wondering if maybe I could give you some cab money for you to get out of here. Oh, you're, gonna, you're gonna give me some cash? Yeah, I'll give him ten bucks cash and say, go ca call yourself a cab and get away from here as quickly as you oh, can. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Oh! Oh, gosh. Fucking yes. He's like, he'll, he'll like, just start, oh, like, walking off. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> What a useful waste of money. Uh, I'm gonna look over at, uh, like, I'll roam back over to the team and kind of nod to some of our more aggressive uh, people. Be like, all right, I think it's clear. I'm definitely starting to saunter over because, like, <laughs> with my experience, I know what's going on. Go, go, you're <laughs> free to move. It's not paused. You can start moving as you wish. Okay, then I sprint full speed <laughs> and get behind the uh, car right here. Uh oh, there, there's. Okay. Uh, is this is this door to this store open up here? Yeah, they should all be open. Yeah, they're they're on like it's the normal business day here. Roll. Um, if you're if okay. me is sprinting up like immediately, these guys are I... going to bristle. <laughs> okay. Because you weren't sneaky at all about it. <clears throat> So I'm gonna I'm gonna hey, pause for a I moment. A hurtless move. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were jumping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Do my RoboCop walk. 
Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, with that, it's me, or me, it's me, me, uh, you come up I... first. The, everyone else is just sort of milling about, but like they're, they laser, laser focus on you first. Uh, and the burdened Tusker here, this this dude, um, he looks at you and goes, he's like, oh, go away from the car. Oh, don't, I don't think that's uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> That's the least of your worries. He like this he's call. like show he like sort of from his jacket kind of like semi shows like the hilt of like a pistol and he's like back away from the car. <laughs> she just laughs. Would I have been able to see the him like show off the pistol like that? Yeah, you can see you can see it. You can see it. They're they're conversing, so if people still want to take a few more steps, move around, you can. Can I yell something? To... Yeah, of course. Hey, man, just 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 relax. You know, we're we're eighteen carat here. Nothing. We're, we're, we'll get away from your car. Don't worry. Drop gun and step away from store. As soon as he says or she says that, I pull out mine. <laughs> <laughs> we do not negotiate with. <clears throat> Oh, oh, Ben, people, <laughs> put your weapon on the ground now. LJ is going to approach from the side and be like, this doesn't have to get messy, friends. Why is that my real life nickname? <laughs> Are you the cops? He like he even points at like the, the big like robo dude or whatever. Um, Are you cop? I am. I'm gonna approach slowly and be like, again, that's the least of your worries. Oh! Uh, he, like, he like yells through, he's like, oh! Poe's arrived! Um, with that, that's, that's gonna be combat. <laughs> um, so, uh, feel free, uh, to roll initiative in the combat tracker. We're just gonna, we're gonna get into this. I'll roll for theirs. Oh, I get two. It doesn't let me. R I forgot to hit to roll for advantage. Um, That's a little icon, if you right? wanna, if you want to roll another like dex check, if you if you're supposed to have advantage. I think I think I, you yeah. twenty did though. Hmm? Did you not twenty your initiative? Yeah, you you can't get know, higher than that. <laughs> Oh, you did? I thought I rolled a two. No, you got thirty-three. Yeah, you're at thirty-three. You can't. You can't get higher. <laughs> you're I'm almost like speed of sound Sonic. I have a thirteen in ish. <laughs> yeah, you're. You're good. You're good. It's nutty. That's nutty. Uh, okay, that's everyone. That's everyone. Okay, we're gonna begin combat. Uh, okay, well, with your super cybered reactions <laughs> and everything like that, um, yeah. Uh, Robocop, Alex Murphy. Uh, I'm just gonna yeah, Alex. Uh, Alex, do your thing. What are you What are you doing here? Uh, basically, my gun is, has been out. Uh, I'll point it up and be like, "Put the gun down now." And I will ready my attack action for if he raises his weapon. Okay, sounds good. So you're right in an action to take a, a single pot shot if he does something. Uh, no. All right, me. You're, you're next. You were also like right at the car, like raring to go. All right. Uh, give me one second. Foundry is like reloading. And me. Actually, is it a single pot shot or is it the full attack action? No, when you do a uh, ready to action, you only get one attack. Okay. Loading. Okay, so Mai is going to. Or Mai, sir. Up. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna run up and punch him. I'm gonna run up and um, punch him with a an on arm strike. And just, she's gonna full sprint. 
Oh, I target this guy. And then, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, all right. Well, 26 is definitely going to hit, and that's for 10 damage on the first one. Beep. Yeah, and the, um, let's see. Uh, bonus action on arm strike. Uh, you should get at your level. You should have multiple attacks right off the bat just with your attack action. I don't. I don't know what that. Means. I see on arm strike, fury of blows, extra attack strike. at fifth level. You attack twice instead of one. You should have two attacks right off the bat before you have to spend a bonus action. Uh oh, so do I just attack again? Yep, attack again. So you attack twice, and okay. then we can start doing the monk stuff after that as well. Okay. Did that, did that, there you did go. That show up? Uh, yeah, so that is oh, okay. uh, 21 definitely hits. Like you're hitting well past these guys' ACs. They don't seem to be overly armored or tough in this way, although they're a bit like a bit of a, a hit point sponge. Okay. Uh, um, then, then I can bonus action on our strike again. Yeah, you could bonus action, and if you if you spend a key, you get multiple, or you could just like just straight up bonus action to just do a, a third one. Uh, just a straight up one. Yep. Um, let's see. I'm going to just do this again. And that hit again? Yes, you do. Alrighty. Uh, do I go again or that's it? Uh, that would be your action, bonus action. You moved. That's pretty much you. Alright. As I'm punching him, I'm like, I told you that's the least of your fucking worries. <laughs> So you just like sprint up like like one like palm strike to the face, knocking it up, and then like <laughs> a couple of jabs in the midsection. He's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead and pass your turn off when you're done. I am finished. All right, how do I do what? Uh, in the combat tracker, there should be a right in the middle of it there. There should be a thing to pass your turn off. Oh, it's her. Yeah. You got yeah. it. <clears throat> uh, OK, uh, this guy goes. He's like, oh, oh, you hear from inside, oh, the cops, quick, hostages, no! Oh, uh, he's gonna actually put this guy so he's in front of him. And aim his gun at his head. Which, uh, I think LJ can see the guy all the way down in the south. All right, next. Okay. This guy. Another guy coming out. Oh, what is he wearing? Or what is he using? Revolver. It's got a 30 foot move. Uh, okay, well, this guy's gonna take a shot at my from inside the store. Now you've got a you've got a good amount of cover, so um it's might act that your AC is going to be even higher than normal. So it gives me a second here. I will do the attack and we shall see. <clears throat> He's definitely not hitting you. That sucks for him. <laughs> uh, with the first one, at least. Let's see what the second one. So that is uh, you have a plus five at the moment because your cover that just misses. Unfortunately, a 19 will miss you. So the, the window just shatters out, spraying glass towards the car behind you as you hear like a pop, pop, bang, bang, um, as uh, two fires off of a, a revolver. Um, just giver is doing, taking it off. Yeah, it is. All right, perfect. That's good. You saved me smashing through the window. <laughs> There's still like a bit of splintery glass around it and stuff, but it's not it's not too bad. Like it's, it's a big pane of, pane of glass. So like the top part just like then falls and smashes. Um, that type of thing. All right, moving on. This guy, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, you are going to go... Ready in action. Well, I'm gonna use this for ready in action. This guy's got a ready to action too. Ski bop. <laughs> oh shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast blindness deafness at third level at the two that are in front 
like outside of the store. Oh shit. All right. Yeah. Yeah. To blind them. It's blind. Okay. <clears throat> that is uh, the constitution saving throw. Okay. All right. I, thought, well, I can do it this. Can I do it this way? Out of my way. There we go. Uh, that is Constitution saving throw. What, what is the DC? 18? Oof. Oof. Yes, sir. 50. Oh, that is two successes. Nice. 19 and a 23. Uh, Those rolls, they don't have that much of a bonus. I think it's hefty. Yeah, no, that's me. I'm not, I'm not using anything else. Damn. Sorry about your luck. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, this guy is also going to do a thing. And here, put this lady in front of him. Also taking a hostage. This isn't like your normal D&D &D adventure. You're in civ civilization. Warm Tuska, what do you, what do you got? Okay. Uh, so this guy is going to step out of, uh, oh, oh, here, uh, let's do a thing. This window is broken. Just going to remove the window wall. So we got a guy here that is going to step out here with a shotgun, uh, aim it at, um, mm, Robocop here. Cause you look more intimidating. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna unload both barrels at you. Uh, barrel one. Oh, I guess my thing doesn't trigger because I specifically said burdened, right? Uh oh no! I let your thing because you, you were gonna shoot at somebody. Yeah, go for it. Do your thing first. Especially if he raised his weapon at me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's fine. Do do your thing first. I'm not gonna worry too much about specifics of that. I knew your general gist is good enough. You wanted to shoot shit. Oh, wow. Not with that, you're not. No. Uh, 15 will not hit, unfortunately. So he comes out, sees you, you're like, stop. And you like, shoot. He just like, it, there's still like the glass there. And he just, it just kind of like brushes his shoulder. Like it did almost hit him. Um, tearing a little bit at the leather jacket that he's wearing. And he's like, my jacket. And then he raises it and he does. Um, he misses you on the first one. And the second one, you're like, blam, blam, and like bits of your armor get a little scraped or whatnot, but it doesn't actually seem to affect you that much. Uh, because apparently these guys can't hit shit today. <laughs> John Blaze. Um, I think I'm going to move here for some cover. And I guess I'll... Well, Eldritch Blast, this guy, Shallow Tusker. Okay, okay. So aiming at the guy at the door there. Oh, I can get rid of that picture now. We don't need it anymore. That was just so you guys knew where to look. <laughs> I don't like GTA. The quest here. <laughs> Alright, First Eldritch Blast does indeed hit. Actually, with this. Hey, I forgot. I can actually use the auto thing. I don't have to type it in. I forgot that shit was fixed. I do have the repelling blasts where it knocks them back 10 feet. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, it's a, it's a glass door. So, so we'll just push them right through it. Yeah, just there's a smash, and then he's just... Uh, well, he gets like, well, it's sort of this direction. So he, he's like, he, he's pushed through into the side. You can still see him for your other blasts. Okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the same guy. Okay. And you can always choose if you repel him on each blast as well. So if you don't want to keep pushing him, you don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that one is going to miss, unfortunately. Uh, I have three of them, right? Uh, I believe you have three at this level. Yeah, I believe 11th yeah, yeah. level is when you yeah. get your third one. 
All right, I'll do my third one add on. That's going to hit. That's going to hit. All right. It could push him back again, I guess. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So he's like pushed back like this way. So like you're like bam, bam, like almost like, you know, like Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. Just like bam, bam, like knocking him back with multiple hits as he smashes and like stumbles backwards. I'm actually going to say he's prone because he kind of like tripped over the table. He got like knocked over the table and it kind of just makes sense. He'd be prone. So you want to ask ass over to you. There you go. Yeah. End your turn. Where do I end it? Um, oh, uh, in the combat me. tab. So you like you, you you'll be in the tab with all the initiative orders. It's the one that looks like a fist at the top. In the middle of the area, there should be like a next turn or okay. end turn. Yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Perfect. All right, burdened Tusker. Uh, he is right next to uh, my. Uh, well, I mean, he's not pulling his pistol anymore because he's like right next to you. So he's like, he's actually pulling out this great axe and he's just going to go choppy chop. Uh, double check. They don't have. Oh, okay. He's going to do it's on the first one, right? Um, no, on attack rolls. Oh, cool, 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 cool. I should have been using that already. Um, all right, this guy's gonna just like give out this like big war cry, just like, Rawr! um, and then attack you. <laughs> Getting advantage. Can I cutting words? There? Oh, you can. <laughs> uh, yeah. You. What do you? What do you roll at this level for your cutting words? I want to say it's a D8. Uh, I think it's D10s at this point. I feel like it's D10s. Let me double check. I'll do a D. Okay, yeah, let's double check. Quick. You know what? Roll a D20, D10 and then double check after your turn. I just feel like yeah. it's D10s. Roll a D20. <laughs> <laughs> so that's minus eight. Minus eight off of that, brings it down to a 16. Oh, you were short by one. Oh, Why I one? Tried. Very close. So like you, you did make him like stutter for just a second, but it was still like just enough that it, the, the momentum carried it through. Uh, so that was going to be 14 slashing damage to my. Did I have him? Uh, you took 14 damage from the axe. Okay. Uh, so you can you can either adjust it in your character sheet or you can just right click on your token and just like minus 14 from that number. You can do it from the uh, combat thing too. Uh, oh yeah, I have to work for you guys too. Fancy. All right, and then he's gonna he's gonna try to hit you again. Cause cause why not? Oh oh. So. <laughs> oh fucking train. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, so that's thirty six damage as he crit you. Just like as as the axe comes down, he then like you didn't expect it to come back, and he swings back up, just slicing across to you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, all right. Uh, I mean, you, you're thirteenth level, so I'm not pulling too many punches for you guys. She's like, you're not good. Uh, all right, this guy is going to get up. Like what the hell? Um. What weapon you got? Pistol. Uh, yeah. If he goes, he's gonna like jump up on this table, pull out his pistol, and then he's gonna fire at John Blaze. Uh, you do have some cover because of the car. You're like, I'm assuming you kind of like instant, like semi ducked down behind the car after your your Eldritch yeah. blasts. Um, so you you like, he's gonna take some pot shots and see if he can like get through the car at you. Um, all right gonna do that uh their battle cry is it all on attack rolls all attack rolls okay cool yeah he can battle cry as well actually i forgot to use this guy's thing <clears throat> all right this guy's gonna do it too so battle cry and then he's going to fire at you pop pop um pop 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 Oof. Okay, calm no. down. <laughs> Holy crap. And That's again. 29 damage on the first one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're not wearing armor. 
Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a good amount right there. Twenty nine on the first one, and on the second one, miss. So yeah, go ahead and apply twenty nine damage to yourself there, Mister Blaze. Um, that one just like it like went right through like the car windows. You like peeked up for just a second, and then like across like the f like the flaming skull of your face, like took a little chip of the bone away, and you're like, Arr. there you go. All right, next dude. Uh, what are you using? Uh, oh, he's got like an assault rifle. Okay. So he's gonna go. Ooh, so many targets. Target rich environment for them. Okay, this guy's coming like right out on the street. Uh probably the fiery skull thing I think would be the most intimidating of the woo closer ones that he can see. <laughs> it's like the kobold, nah. The tall Amazonian lady, maybe. But then there's the flaming skull, and he's like, okay. <laughs> uh, that's actually going to miss? No, it's not. You got only got a 12 AC. That just, just hits for 20 damage on John Blaze. Just hits. And then for another 14 on top of that. Oh, shit. And uh, LJ, that's gonna be your turn. All right, sorry, I'm rocking out here. We've got Rick James in the background. <laughs> this is good I... shit. All right, um, with that Rick, Rick James bumping through LJ, he's gonna like do a little dance and click his heels together to double his speed. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna run. Um, that guy can take an attack of opportunity, but if he does, he gets disadvantage. Okay, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Uh, he's still got his battle cry up, so that's actually gonna be normal for him. Um, no, he can't. He's the one that had the shotgun out, and he's already unloaded both barrels. He doesn't have a melee okay. weapon out. He can't. Wonderful. Um, so LJ's gonna get up here. He's gonna be like, all right, boys, let's go to work. He's gonna kiss his dog tags, and I'm gonna cast Spirit Guardians. Um, I'm gonna cast Spirit oh. Guardians at the fifth level. Oh, that is a good way to not hurt the hostages. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, don't worry about. Well, I guess worry about the damage. Yeah, so it's a 16 wisdom save. Uh, wisdom 16. Uh, and I think it's on their turn. An affected creature's speed is halved in the area when the creature enters the area for the first time or starts its turn. Okay. So I, it would happen right away, wouldn't it? You'd think so, because they're technically entering the area as soon as it's cast, right? I would say it happens right away, yeah. I don't know if that's official ruling, but I like it. <laughs> uh, all right, so tireless fail, dazzling made it. Um, and it's uh, saved for half. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, half. Um, but he still takes some damage. Is it is it the radiant and necrotic? I think it's the radiant because I'm good or neutral. Necrotic only applies if you're evil. Oh, okay, so the first one, the first one is just eight. Uh, uh, I, I need to see though if it rolled it right. It did roll it right. Okay, cool. Okay, um, so it is at the fifth level. So um, on the start of their turns, it will roll again for that five d eight radiant damage. Did it? Um, oh my god, so, yeah, it did roll right. That was just a shitty roll. Okay. Yeah. Um, so on a successful save, the creature takes half damage. So they'll take damage go. either way. So he took... Um, oh, I just did it twice, didn't I? What happens is um, soldiers dressed in, in, in U.S. Army gear um, rise from the ground but are made of motes of light as opposed to being like human figures. Um... Or like like they're they're humanoid, but they're made of light instead of like skin. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, they're just gonna like 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 appear uh, out of the ground and like stab them with rapiers on their guns. 
or like um um not rapiers um bayonets the uh, the tireless one that actually failed to save like he failed it because like as he's rising up like he had just seen ghostbusters not long ago and he's like oh, go, go, ghosts! <laughs> <laughs> anything else lj uh that's everything for now i pass when you're done michael c campbell You see this going down from across the road, so I'm gonna creep up. Yeah. Yeah, you can get right up to him. There's 30 feet right there. Yeah. So come sprinting up from across the road. I'll like pull my hammer as I'm doing it. I'm just gonna swing on this guy right here. Do it. So I have a move called Improved Divine Smite. Do I roll the hammer, then that move, or do uh, I roll it in the spell book? the what your paladin stuff the oh for your smites oh no do the attack improve, improve oh, do the mind. attack first that all your melees carries divine power with them oh so you just do an extra d8 on all attacks for damage um we can oh it's already added on there i think yeah it's already added on there perfect there we go. So, so your regular attack uh, is unfortunately going to miss. Just gonna full as he was full sprinting over, he tripped on the curb right here. Just slams into the car a little bit. <laughs> oh fucking curb! Uh, you are a paladin. You should have a second attack. I do. Yeah, extra attack. You have a second attack as well. Oh, okay. So he'll see me trip and fall and do that. And as I'm rising up, I'm going to slam him with the hammer. Try again. Ah, uh, fake drone. I bamboozled you. There you go. You hit him that time. So that's for six damage. But you can also, being a paladin after the fact, choose to do a smite. If you yeah. wish. That's what I was trying to do, yeah. Yeah, so the the so, the because you've got your improved divine smite, which just adds damage on all of your attacks. Now you can add your regular smite onto it after if you wish, which consumes spell slots, but it deals extra damage. Um, the divine smite, right? Yep, divine smite. What level spell slot did you want to consume? That level one. Level one, so that's an extra two d eight. Yeah. Uh, so five radiant. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the second radiant. It's not supposed to roll on that for some reason it did um but an extra five yep yep yeah and that's that's his turn you guys dice are not loving you <laughs> robocop you did not listen to commands i'm not gonna hop up on the car okay like an 80s action slide across the car, but it's a metal ass. So it's like, ee! no, no, no. I'm literally <laughs> just walking up on the car and I'm going to stand uh -huh. on it. Okay. And because like I weigh a ton too, right? Yeah. So I was I'm just thinking, I was just thinking that like, there's going to be a crunch sound and maybe like a pop and as the tire goes. Yeah. And I am totally okay with that. And while I'm here, uh, pulling out the riot shield to make sure I have it ready. Uh, okay. Then I'm just gonna blast this guy. Do it up three times. All oh, right. Uh, this was the the burdened or the warm tusker. The warm. Warm. Okay. Uh, yeah. the, yep. That is that is going to. I don't need to write. I don't need to type it in. I can just click the button. What am I doing? So le so easy now. <laughs> So used to this shit being broken for so long. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's feeling this. He's feeling this. Uh, and that still hits. No, wait. Uh, yeah. Sorry. That that still hits. Just hit on a two. Just hit. I think you have to roll a one to miss these guys right now. Which I did the one time. Yeah. They're they're not high AC. They're they're relatively easy to hit for the most part. Your guys' rolls have just been. <laughs> I'll be like surrender now. My, 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 my. <laughs> she is going to continue to beat this guy because she is angry. Hmm. 
Um, I'm going to first target him. Let me target him. And thanks for the, uh, the, these maps looks great there, Quick Quick. I, I appreciate that. I spend time on my maps. It's hard to do the modern ones, not as many assets. Uh, that is definitely going to hit on the, the burden, dude. Ready? So he takes seven and I'm going to hit again. Yeah. That's going to hit. Okay. Uh, can I, if I use a special, does it count as a bonus action or is it like separate from a bonus action? Uh, use a special what? So like stunning strike. Does that count as a bonus action? Uh, stunning, uh, stunning strike, you can do it in place of a melee attack. So whenever you do an attack, you can say, I'm going to do a stunning strike instead. All right, so bonus, I'm a bonus attack, I'm a stunning strike him then. Okay, yeah. yeah. So instead of your bonus attack thing, you're going to use your, yeah, you'll use your stunning strike. Uh, okay, so, so I'm going to con save. Okay. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's see here. You con save. That is a fail. He's stunned until my next turn, I believe. That's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. He's 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 screwed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, and I think that's it. That's all I can do. So you come in a couple another like torso shots like ba ba ba, and then you come up as like an another uh, as he he finally is lowering his head from that first uh, headshot where you do another like uppercut like snap snapping his head back and he's like Rrr! and he's all like hmm. wavering back and forth. Yeah, I hit him with the. Hmm. Uh, and go ahead, end your turn when you're done. Oh yes. Um. Uh... Okay, tireless dude. Uh, I believe he's gonna make a save on his turn for the yeah. things, right? Wisdom save sixteen, or he takes another five d eight um, radiant damage. Or well, he takes it either way, but well, yeah, he'll take he takes half then because he got a sixteen, yeah. so he takes seven. Um, yeah, as these spectral army guys yeah. just continue to jab at him. Okay, um, the person he's holding is just like freaking the fuck out, uh, and he's like, uh, the the guy here, the tireless tusker, he's like, he looks at you and he's like, make it stop or I cap him right now. Do you say anything in return? You cap him and I summon more. Uh, make if it intimidate for me. If you want to leave here alive. I would not do that. Uh, and we're going to do... Uh, where are you? There you are. Fuck this shit, copper! Um... And he just aims at the guy's head, pulls the trigger, and just like, bang, splat. The guy's head just brains all over the countertop. The other woman just starts screaming. Fuck. Uh, that was his turn, though. He's not going to get his second shot because that's uh, too, too, too much of a dramatic effect. <laughs> uh, all right, this guy, um, he's going to like get here and sort of like get ready to, to crouch for cover from you. But then he is going to aim with his pistol and take some shots at the LJ. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the five is not going to hit you. <laughs> uh, 15 just hits. So that's nine piercing. Uh, and then he just kind of like ducks behind the counter a little bit. Pop and stop. Stop and pop. Uh, Eclectic Tusker, um, he was waiting for someone to, like, come through the door, and then you, like, crash through the window, and he's like, oh, fuck, wrong way! So, yeah, that's not gonna work. Um... Okay, he's gonna go here. How big is this? Oh, okay. Uh, he's, he's actually going to go here, and then he is going to... Pull out... Uh, so that would be... Nope. Oh, my measurement template. Right here, we'll just do it this way. 
20 radius. He doesn't want to hit his buddies. So he's not, he's not, he's only going to be able to hit three of you with this frag grenade. So I need, uh, we can do that. We can do it this way. Oops. Get off the targeting thing. Thank you. Ouch. Uh, all right. I am going to need a deck save at, there we go. Go ahead and roll your deck save for me, please. Wait, I feel that's wrong. Hold on. I need one from John Blaze and Robocop. Yeah, I was just, I think mine that I actually rolled there is wrong. Uh, oh, Give oh, you rolled, two seconds. rolled preemptively. Roll pre uh, plus five. Oh no, that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you wrong. Plus... Oh, don't you have a plus five? Yes, but I get uh, plus half my proficiency. Oh shit, so you had an extra plus two on top of that. Okay, so. Well, Remarkable uh, athlete. Yeah, go ahead and roll it in the thing that I actually asked for. And uh, don't, don't forget, next time I ask for a thing, wait till the thing pops up to roll it, because I'll, I'll got, I've got things in there to apply. Uh, but go ahead. Because uh, I rolled it from your frag grenade. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry. I didn't have anyone targeted for that. For oh, you guys yet. Sorry. That's why I got this separate thing up. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Just go ahead and roll that and we'll uh or roll there. Roll the exact same roll. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you can roll oh, in there as well. It still didn't it still didn't apply it. No, but we just add a plus two manually. It's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> That's okay. Funny. And then in the actual chat thing, it looks like Michael and John Blaze rolled a seven and a twenty. All right, uh, you still failed because that's a 10. So that's two of you failed and I believe it's safe for half. So that is 15 damage to Michael Campbell, 15 damage to Robocop and seven damage to John Blaze as a frag grenade goes off. And also damaging the car, not enough that it begins to explode or anything, but uh, enough that the car looks concerning. <laughs> Skip up. Uh, did I hear or see the person get killed? Um, I mean, you heard, yeah, you heard a shot and a sudden, like, like terrifying scream as the other girl responded. Uh, you couldn't quite see the guy get capped. Okay. I'm just going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter at self-centered one. The self-centered? Yeah, you see me the, playing my sax. Oh, the, the self-confident one? Yes, oh, self-centered. Self-centered. I see it. I see it. I see it. Too many self ones. <laughs> uh, I see what you have targeted with the green dot. Okay, so that is a 18 wisdom. Boo, boo, boo. Wisdom. Oh, oh my fuck. God. My rolls today. I'm so sorry, guys. Whoa. I'm about to turn off. Uh, I'm about to turn Thomas off if that keeps up. We're going to see him too often. He's scary. He, he doesn't even have advantage or anything like that. Just just these rolls. Cocaine okay, filled Tuskers. I'm going to use Bardic Inspiration on Ghost Rider. All right. I will just ignore that. He just, he has a, a D10 to throw around. Did you have D10s, by the way? Did you figure that out? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay, sweet. I thought mm. it was at this point, but I couldn't remember. I haven't really played a bard to those levels, so. Dazzling Tusker. Uh, so he's going to aim at the woman's head and be like, same deal. You know what's serious. None of you are leaving here alive now. Your friend just ensured that. But if you, I can make it as painless as possible if you leave her alive. I'm going to give you anyway. a choice whether this is more of an intimidation or a persuasion. Uh, it's definitely intimidation. Okay, roll, roll intimidation for me, please. With advantage, actually. With advantage? Okay, yeah. I'll roll that again. Like, he's, they're seeing, he's seeing some shit happening out there. Like, his buddies are getting hurt. 19? He's probably... 
Also, he needed to make a save at the beginning of his turn because the spirit guardians are still there. Oh, yes, yes. Another reason that he would have, uh, you'd have it off. <laughs> yep, okay. Uh, so that's going to make him, like, not shoot her and pause. <laughs> uh, yeah. so, uh, that was a wiz- wills- wisdom save, right? I believe That's a so. fail. That's definitely a fail. So that's all 27 but- damage. That's 27 damage as one of the soldiers, like, fires a spirit bullet mm-hmm. into his side. So this guy, he doesn't end up shooting anyone. He, like, he gets it in the side, and he's, he, like, becomes shaken at what you say, and he's just, like, he's, like, looking at his, his buddy, like, should I? I don't know what to do. And he just, that's, he just does nothing. <laughs> it just locks down for a second. Uh, all right. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this dude, uh, well, he's switching to his axe because he doesn't want to take the time to reload his shotgun. Um, so this guy's going to switch to his axe. Uh, he's taking the axe and he is going to, uh, well, Robocop's like up on the freaking car here. He's like, oh, good down. Uh, and he's, uh, well, he doesn't have advantage anymore, so it's just a normal hit. Uh, that will not hit, because you're armored up the wazoo. Same with that one. So he tries twice, and you just kind of, like, kick the blade away both times. Nothing. John Blaze. I'm for your fury. Revenge. Um, I'm gonna attack with self-centered Tusker. Okay. And I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast him. Give her, give her. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, that is unfortunately going to miss. Uh, you... Yeah, that's going to miss. That's going to hit. I'll knock him back to 10 feet as well. Okay. Uh, and I think you get a third blast at this point, don't you? Yep. 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 Uh, that is unfortunately going to miss. Uh, remember, you do have your inspiration if you wanted to roll, see if you could heighten that up a bit. Actually, yeah, yeah. I'll use the Bardic Inspiration. That was a D10. D10. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Now you're going to hit. So you'll deal the force, uh, the four, the 10 damage to him then. So that turns it into a hit. Ski Bop talked you through it. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm going to end my turn. Teamwork. Eiffel Tower. Uh, this guy's gonna spend his turn being stunned, and then it's gonna go away. <laughs> That's all he's got. Uh, this guy. Uh, okay. Well, he's gonna like pop behind the table here, just so he has cover, and then he's gonna take some some shotty shots at LJ. He sees him doing like weird mystical shit with ghosts. He doesn't like this. Um, oh, he still has his... He does not have his battle cry. He's already used it. Damn it. All right. He's going to hit two. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, that is 20 damage. And a miss. Self-centered. Whoa. Um, uh, He's the guy with the he's the guy with the rifle. So he's, he's gonna have this rifle and uh John Blaze has a little bit of cover on him, so he's actually gonna aim at Ski Bop. Uh he's got his battle cry. So bonus action he's gonna use his battle cry. And then he is going to. Uh, first one will hit you for 18 piercing damage. I'm gonna use silvery barbs. Oh shit. Oh, that's that, that newer spell. That shit's good shit. Yes, it that is my a, reaction, but... It is a ridiculously good spell. So he has to re-roll, right? Yeah. Yeah. That is a ridiculously good, good one. So it went from advantage to, like, not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just roll here. It's a two, even with his bonuses. That's a miss now. So yeah, he misses on the first attack. You're just like, nope! <laughs> Uh, second one is... What's your AC? Oh, that just hits. Uh, yeah, so 16 damage. Why well, you gotta shoot the cobalt? Come on. At least you, you took care of the slightly bigger one. You didn't get hit twice. I love Silvery Barbs. That's such a good spell. 
All right, uh, LJ. LJ takes the shot to his back shoulder and just barely like turns and glances with one eye. So like one eye meets the guy, the shallow Tusker's gaze. Uh, and then he turns and throws a punch at the tireless Tusker, but he's not actually punching him. He's channeling his harm spell through his fist. Oh, oh. it's awesome. Uh, harm. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so he needs to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, he did make it. So that's half. So half. All right. So 26. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, yeah, 26. Uh, is there a um, uh, half? Oh, there that's still like a chunk of his health. <laughs> Brings him down yeah. to half. Yeah, so 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 sluts him across the mouth, but like it's full like harm spell across the mouth. Are there any like special As effects that happened on your fist while it was happening? Uh, no, because uh, my 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 rings do. I either have the jump spell or scorching ray with my with my knuckles. Oh, okay, all right. But it probably still hurts. Probably still hurts a, a hell hell of a lot. Yeah, he's he's a little shaken because you like you just brought him down to half. Like he resisted it, and it was still like a good chunk of his health. <laughs> so yeah, that would have like um, almost dropped him. But like he's like he's like like, like I'll actually move down the square because like at this point after he killed the guy he's like on top of him like grabbing him and starting to feed him these magical shots. To the him, like on the counter like. <laughs> I like it. Um, and I think. Uh, I still have my I, I didn't use a concentration spell so I still have my dudes going. Yeah. Um, I don't think there is really anything I can do as a bonus action because I didn't make an attack. The spirit guardians, is that concentration? It is concentration, yeah. Oh, did you roll the con saves when you got hit? Oh, no, uh, sorry. What do I need to roll and I get you know, advantage I, off? I missed the trigger on it anyways. We'll just skip it for now. Just remember in the future. Okay. Yeah, I uh yeah, yeah let me know cuz I have um I have what you call it um warcaster. Oh yeah, that's so you get a bonus on it. Yeah, so I'll I'll get advantage on it. Sweet. Yeah. Uh no plan. Uh, it's uh it's a jewelry store they were robbing actually. Jewelry. Yeah, go ahead, Michael. Michael's a gamble. Oh, it looks like you're laying down. Sleepy time. I'm just I'm doing the same thing again. Just going with the hammer. Do it up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's uh, 11 damage right off the bat. Are you going to smite him as well? Emotional damage. I'll do the oh intro attack. Just to do the hammer attack again. Okay. Uh, Platt's now your worst enemy. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck six, flat. Okay, yeah, that's gonna hit as well. Another seven damage. I think I just heard. I think I just heard Li Lily laugh from the other room. I do the, the divine smite on this one, or you can smite on whichever ones you want. You can even do it multiple times in a round. I'll do the divine smite again, just like just beating this guy with a hammer. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you want to smite, just just say whatever whatever level spell you want to smite with. So you just did uh, level one, did an extra four damage. Sweet. And the nice thing about smites is when you crit, the the smite damage is also doubled. So it's really nice when you crit, which is super sweet. Uh, okay, uh, I will notice at this point, you realize as you're feeding this guy shots, LJ, like over the counter, you will see just under the counter, aside from the bags of jewelry and everything they've been collecting there, one of the bags is open, and there's a new complication to the situation, apparently, as there's a bomb with a ticking timer on it. Fuck. 
You can thank Platt for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Robocop. All right, here. Uh, better alive, you're coming with me. <laughs> and I'll just pop this guy. Or not. Maybe I'll try it again. It's funny, a one is the only thing you can miss on with these dudes. I've rolled a couple of them already. Yeah, uh, this was on the uh, the burdened one? Warm. Warm? Okay, so you actually have to roll again. You're at disadvantage. Because you're right next to him. No, I have... Uh, oh, oh, you got a feat for it? I do. You, you have an app it? for that? <laughs> hmm. Oh, don't, uh, if you got a feat for it, it's fine. You can figure out which one afterwards or stuff. I'll take your word for it. So yeah, that will definitely, I think that will actually, yeah, that takes him out. Uh, Dunza, oh, actually, I forgot. Oh, I was Gunner. Yeah, I took Gunner. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Boop. Being within five feet doesn't impose disadvantage at range. There tackles. we go. So I now have a button where it turns him into a lootable. So now you can actually see his great axis shotgun and his ammo there just as all his lootable shit. Oh, that's sweet. He's a container. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to walk along, like over on the edge of the car there, cracking it as much as possible. Crunch, I'm gonna crunch. land right there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use my third attack. Uh, on the self-centered guy. Where was ripping bongs in the mic? No wet noises. Oh, shit. Sorry. All right. You go there. Uh, and then, yep. Yeah, bang right into his face. Oh, actually. Sorry. I moved one to square too many. Can I still be kind of on the car ish? Yeah. Or slide beside it? Sure, you can be like like one foot's like in like the window area and like one foot's like either above or below. It's up to you. I'm fine with that. Perfect. The car's already been kind of lowered a bit from crushed under your weight. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and that is me. I'm pretty easy going with this shit. As long as we have fun. My. Um, Girona. So my is going to just continuously beat this guy's ass out of anger <laughs> um you've been him. feeding him pretty pretty like constant shots at this point <laughs> yeah so i'm going to just here we go oh oh that was a good one too and another oh that's another good one. Oh, that, he's still just up he has one point He's like right, losing uh, back and forth, like. Ooh. Um, just gonna do one more. Uh oh, that's a miss. He like he like sways back just as you go to like finish him across the face, like hitting nothing but air. <laughs> that's all right. Um, I'm going to end that little turn. So there we go. <laughs> Can't believe he lived through that. All that's right. Weird. That's weird. Uh, this guy, uh, oh shit, I didn't mean to remove him. Come back. No, baby, come back. Okay, where did he go? No, you weren't up there. Uh, where's my? You were right after my. Uh, oh, there you are. Where'd you go, tireless? There you are. Sorry, I accidentally removed him. I clicked the wrong button. Get back up there. There we go. All right. I meant to do this to get rid of that because he didn't have his. Uh, they don't have their held actions anymore. Okay. Uh, so this guy, like, seeing what shit he's in right now, he is. Uh, well, does he have his battle cry? He does. Oh, this is going to hurt, probably. Uh, so Luther, right? Point yeah. blank, he's going to do his battle cry first. They get that for the one round. And then he's going to raise his shotgun at you. Uh, 
that is going to hit you for 15 damage on the first one. Uh, he's just rolling regular, right? No, he's rolling with a um, advantage. Um, but he's shooting a shotgun point blank at me? Yeah, because it's a shotgun. Shotguns don't get negatives for shooting point blank. Okay, cool. That's the that's the ability of a shotgun. Okay. And then he's got his battle cry to get the, the bonus. Yeah, it's like... It's, it's the same thing for you guys. It's, it's in the description of the shotgun. That's the one gun you can shoot point blank with no issues. Okay. Uh, and then that is just going to hit for 14. Okay, so... It wasn't as uh, impressive as I thought it would be. Oops. Roll that again, because they roll it with advantage. That's us on the first one. He's still, and then He's still good. On, on the second one... Yeah, you should be good. Okay. He, so, uh, he, has, to, he has to roll really fucking high for you to drop your, your stuff at this point. And did he take his spirit guardian damage at the beginning of his turn? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, save. That is a fail. So that's full damage. What's the damage amount? 18. 18. Yep. You're definitely whittling him down. He does not like this. And there's nothing they can do about it. I love spirit, spirit guardians. <laughs> All right. Uh, this dude. So he, he no longer has a thing either. Uh, he's got a sawed off shotgun. Hmm. Yeah, he's, you know, he's going to come out here. But up. He hasn't used his battle cry yet by the looks of it. So these guys are running out of their resources, though. They're almost tapped out. Um, yeah. All right. Michael C. Campbell, guy with a sawed off shotgun is coming up and aiming it right at you. Unloading both barrels. Uh, that is a miss. How do you miss? Okay, that just, just hits. 18 piercing damage on you. I'm 18? Just, yeah, 18. I'm just barely hitting you guys. Like, just barely. I'm rolling your AC, like, on the spot so many times here. Skip up! Skip up! Pop. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cast Major Image in the form of a uh, Hulk sized Robocop with cannon arms. And he's gonna be close enough that he can talk to the folks who have hostages and he's gonna tell them to release them. Okay, so uh, wh where are you gonna put it? Like, uh, like around there? Uh, yeah, yeah. He's and he's got the blue and red lights, you know. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so th this just pops up, uh, basically. Just how does how does wow. it appear? I was thinking like liquid metal. Oh. Kinda. Like Terminator T 2 esque. T V T 1000s just sort of so it like suddenly pours out from underneath the car and then forms there. Um and then like yeah, so major image, you've got sound and everything with it as well, and it just tells them to stop. Like give Re up no, type thing. Release things? the hostages, yeah. Release the hostages specifically. Release the hostages. Okay. Uh really loudly too. So uh roll release the hostages. I'm going to have yeah, you like, roll an Intimidation, but with advantage, because the spell. Okay. Because um, even the guy inside can kind of like, he sees the flashing lights, even if he doesn't see the thing directly, and like, they all hear it. Oh, the 35. fuck. <laughs> um, said, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the... So, uh, LJ, you see it first. So the guy inside, the Dazzling Tusk guy, Tusker, he's like, oh, the big ones are here. And he just, like, pushes the woman to the ground, like, just, like, releasing her. Um, and it definitely looks like several of these dudes are severely shaken. <laughs> like this. They're like, oh, shit. Something happened. Beautiful. He'll command, like, the hostages, like, come to me and you'll be safe. Um, then... Shit, I'm going to give uh, Ghost Rider another Bardic Inspiration. All right. Uh, it's going to roll, but just ignore it. Uh, 
And yeah, that's me. Uh, I want to look something up about spiritual guardians. It's a 15 foot sphere. Is that radius? Uh, spirit guardians. Round, oh, round you for 15 foot. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so he's just outside. Okay. Because I was like, isn't this third guy supposed to get it too? But no, he's just outside of it. I was just trying to get you extra damage. That's okay. Speaking of which, this dazzling guy's not having a good time. He he is he is not having a good time. Oh, he made it that time. Half damage. Well, it's still a lot though. You're getting pretty good rolls. Like no matter what, he's he's die, he's starting to die at this point. Um, all right. So let's do let's do. Uh, we're gonna make this like a wisdom save. No, this guy's just like fuck this shit. Any he here? Fuck this shit. I'm out. Yeah, he's just he's just booking it. Uh, what about this guy? Oh my god. Uh, all right. Uh, they're not terribly bright, so give me a second here. I know he actually made. It. I was gonna see if he's gonna walk into the closet. He was like, "I'm out," and walk into a closet. Um, so he's actually following his buddy. Uh, oh, uh, actually. He just entered the space. He needs to take spirit guardian damage. Oh, yeah, you are correct. Save. That's a fail, I do believe. Yeah, that's 23 damage on his way out. Fuck it. He's willing <laughs> to eat that shit. Um, actually, he's he's gone because they just like duck into the alleys. Uh, this guy is gone as well. Boop. Poof. Yeah, they just leave. All right, uh, John Blaze. Um, I'm going to attack the self-centered Tusker. Okay. Uh, give yourself advantage, because uh, he's too busy looking at the big thing in front of him. I don't think he's paying attention to you. Just give yourself advantage. <laughs> I like illusions, especially if you're creative with it. <laughs> Um, that's gonna hit. Go ahead and roll a uh, roll a d twenty. Just see if you like roll the twenty. Like if you crit. One sec. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you didn't crit, but you still hit him on the on the first one. So boop. Uh, second, second one, one will not. Um. I, know, I was only going to oh, give advantage on the first one just because now he's aware you're hitting yeah. him. Yep. That one will hit, though. And I guess I'll knock him back to 10 feet with, with that one. Okay, I'm just going to put him this far because that's the edge of the map. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And that uh, will be everyone. Uh, and you know what? Let's uh, just just to ramp this up for funsies. Uh, LJ, can you roll a D six for me, please? Three. Okay, so there are eighteen seconds left on the timer of this bomb. By the way. Oh, Jesus, I had oh, that. <laughs> God damn. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Burdened Tusker. Uh, well, he's basically dead. He knows he can't run from you at this point. Um. But these guys, unfortunately, these guys are like never give up, never surrender. So yeah, he's gonna do what he's gonna do. Uh, he'll just use his axe uh, against the robo dude, and he doesn't have his battle cry. No, he already used. It. Still hits though. That's nineteen damage. Oh my. Yes. And twenty-two damage. This guy's his last actions are just a fucking giver. It's 19 and 22 in total. So like in the middle of getting his ass beat, he just decides to switch target like <laughs> just panic. Well, yeah. he's he's trying to do as much damage as he can before he, before he goes and uh like you're dressed nice and you're like beating up on him, but this guy's like screams cop head to toe. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in Louis Vuitton. So Robocop, did you uh, take the damage here? Oh, Sorry, I was uh, calculating it. Oh, yeah, no worries. Uh, and 
this guy. Uh, no, he's sticking around. He's sticking around. He's like, fuck you guys. Uh, and he's still gonna do, he's still gonna be trying to hit. He doesn't have battle cry or anything, but he's still gonna try his best to miss, apparently. Oh, there we go. 23 damage on Luther Jackson. My gosh, my crits tonight. I'm so sorry. Hey. Yeah, okay, he made it. There's a big scary thing in front of him. Uh, but I'm going to make give him an intelligence check. Nah, he's not terribly bright. Uh, he's actually going to waste his rifle shots uh, shooting at the giant robot. Um, just basically shooting into air, not realizing it's not a thing. They're not terribly bright, and illusions will fool them. Man, your illusions putting in the work. Uh, Luther Jackson. Uh, I am going to uh, like touch my chest and say, "Oh, I hate this. I'm getting too old for this shit." Uh, and I'm going to cast heal at the seventh level. Heal, okay. On myself. Isn't that just like a straight up hundred? health or something like that? Uh, 80. 80. I, get, I, I get 80 health. Here you go. Oh well, yeah, cast cast the spell. Why isn't it casting the spell? Apparently heal is broken. It's weird. Whatever. I will just get rid of the spell slot. You know what it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just healed. Um, <laughs> I am still moving at 60 or like double speed. Yeah. Um, so I am going to hop over here, grab the bag with the bomb, and fucking, let's see, that was, what, five? So I've got, that's 25, uh, and then I can get out of this alley and as far as I can to be able to toss the bomb wherever. Yeah, there's, I, there's like more. At six seconds a turn, I, I have two turns to figure out a space to get, get it. Okay, uh, there's more buildings and stuff there. What I'll get you to do is I'm going to get you to roll a... Hmm. Wisdom check for me, please. Oh, no. You're running through and you're, you're running through the alleyways, but you're just seeing more buildings at the moment. We'll give you another check to see if you can find something next round, but right now it's just buildings, buildings, buildings. You don't know where to throw it at the moment. Um, Unless you as a player figure something out. How high are the buildings? Uh, these buildings are not terribly tall. Mo most around two, maybe three stories tall. Okay. Cool. Um, I am going to use my bonus action to cast the jump spell on myself. I can do it at will. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'll be able to triple my jump distance and we'll figure out what I can do with that next turn. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's wow. That's awesome. Uh, Michael Campbell. Can I grab this shotgun off the ground right here as item interaction, or was this guy gonna like? Yeah, it was like in his hands, basically, like at one one point. So you can go ahead and just like grab it from him. It's not loaded at the moment. So I'm gonna scoop it up like off the ground. I'm gonna like grab it with my foot, like kick it up in the air, grab it, and like be like, eat this, and then I'm gonna click it, click. I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> I so mean, I'll, I'll give it, it to you that you realize not like that guy fired double barrel and he never reloaded it. So I'll, I'll give you that you realize it's not loaded if you want. But after I realize the gun click, I'm just going to smash him with the hammer. Sure. The only downfall is the shotguns. You can shoot it point blank. It's a lot of damage, but unless you've got something fancy to reload fast. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely going to hit. There's eight. On the first attack. And let me know if you're smiting at any point. You can do whenever you want. No, but I'll, I'll, for the second attack, I'll just do the same thing. Okay. Hammer attack. Do it up. Oh, 
Okay, now you might want to smite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I'll do. Hmm. That's 22. Uh, and then roll another 2d8 on top of that. 32. Just click the. Did it? Oh, there you go. Uh, oh no, that's a D8 plus two. They <clears throat> went two D. You two D8. Just okay. hit the D8 button twice and then roll. There you go. Forty-two damage. Ooh. Ooh. So he went from almost full health to just like crack in one hit, just like doubling over, like oh. Yeah, just like hammering on him, like just. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Robocop. All right. Um, I'm going to unarmed strike this guy to knock him out, non-lethal. Okay. Yep, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. So he's gonna be um, unconscious. And okay. he's also now going to be a lootable thingy. Uh, and then I will move. Uh, where to, which one to go for? Um, I'm going to go in. Yep. Uh, yep. The, the door doesn't exist anymore anyways. It's like just broken glass. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, when I, so when I take the attack action, I can change the attack, right? Like I don't have to continue doing unarmed. Yeah, yeah. You can you can even move between attacks. Okay. So now that I'm, I mean, I don't have to be within melee of him, but I'll uh, shoot him a couple times. Sure. Yeah, because you haven't used your item interaction for anything, so you just draw your weapon. Pop. Uh, ten damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's gonna hurt too. <clears throat> Surrender now. And yeah. My. I am my. Um, I'm going to. I think I have enough movement to. Yeah, I'm gonna run up to this guy. So I'm gonna just. If it lets me move. <laughs> Come on, game. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go over here, and I'm um, I'm, um, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Okay. Like running punch, just heart. just like up behind you, like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna just hit him in the face. Yes, you are. <clears throat> then with that. I am going to use a stunning strike on my next attack. Oh shit. Okay. All right. All right. That's a con save. Yeah. Oh. Uh, just makes it. He rolled a 13. Oh, that's sexy. Okay. Uh, so he's oh. not. Unfortunately, this time it didn't work. I spit in his face. Bonus action, spit in his face. I'm done. <laughs> well, you still have your your bonus action uh, attacks uh, attack, don't I you? I thought that was the. Or was uh, it? Or did, wasn't that your second attack? Yeah, that was my second attack. Like, yeah, you get two regular oh, attacks. Two regular attacks. Yeah, and, and then, then bonus it, action, you get one. Or if you spend a key point, you could get two. You know what? I already passed my turn. <laughs> so, okay. All right. It's bonus action. Was, it's session. It's session one, so I'm going a little easy on you guys. Like we're getting used to level 13 characters out of the blue. We're gonna forget shit. So I'm I'm being. I, like I will learn better if I just take this ill. All right. The bonus action was spitting in his face. Okay, got it. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, all right, tireless dude. Um, oh, he's not in a thing anymore. Doesn't have to make a save. 
Uh, you're like gone down the alleyway. Uh, this dude. Yeah, this is my first monk. <laughs> you know what? He's uh, he's he doesn't see anyone else here. He's just like working his way out out uh, out of the alley. I know you're not actually there, LJ. He's, you're like way down. You're, like, I'm way down. Yeah. Yeah. This this guy just basically books it. He's gone. Uh, they never even got the jewels. Like the the bag stayed behind. So, uh, eclectic dude. Um, I don't know. He's staying around. He's staying here. He's he's gonna try and hit Michael there uh, with his. You know what? He hasn't used. Uh... No, he's gonna use his axe. Gonna use his axe. Give it a shot with his shotgun. Uh, he hasn't yeah he's not gonna spend the time to reload so axe it is so he like drops the shotgun pulls out an axe and off to the races uh so michael c campbell you take 13 slashing damage on the first one and miss on the second one so he manages to slashes you a little bit with the first one, but then you can like roll on the car hood a little bit and just like roll over to the side and he just, he hits, but like just into the car. Ski up. Uh, we're gonna. Tasha is the self-centered. All right. Uh, is your is your illusion concentration? Um, it is. So we drop the illusion. Okay, so we'll drop the illusion. Uh, self-centered. Uh, let's see. Self-centered. Oh my god, my rolls. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. He only has a plus two, but... <laughs> well, shit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move over here by Ghost Rider and end of my turn. The rolls. The rolls. Well, at least your illusion did a lot of work, even if some of the other stuff gets saved on. Uh, John Blaze. Guess I'll just Eldritch Blast the self-centered guy again. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. Okay, 25. Holy, Ooh. Holy shit. <laughs> First one is a Fine. solid. A crit with max damage? Yeah, on both oh. dice. <laughs> And it's a solid hit as well. And you get one more. That's gonna just hit. Woo! He's still up, but not happy. <laughs> oh boy. I'll end my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh you're dead. Oh no, you're unconscious. That's why I was like, you're dead. No, you're not. You're unconscious. Uh alright, this guy. You know what? No, he's gonna give her still. He's gonna still give her. He's, he's morale checks. Good. He's, these guys normally do fight to the death, so he's not gonna give up. But he's given a chance because you are scary motherfuckers, but nope, nope, nope. Uh, he already used his battle cry. All right, Robocop. That's a miss. And that's a miss. I have a hard time hitting you. All right. So he like tries to swing at you and just kind of like catch the axe. And you're like, no. Not today, punk. Self-centered Tusker. Uh... Yeah, okay. This guy just, he like kneels down, like drops his, his weapons and just like, he like kneels down and just like, like lays down, like puts his arms out. Like, I give up. Good. Very good. Can I handcuff him right now? Uh, n not not right now. You gotta wait till the combat's over or on your turn. He's all he's doing is his turn. He's just starting to lay in front of you. So like it's it's yeah. his part of the six seconds that is around. That's good. 
Uh, LJ, so you're like Naruto <laughs> running through the fucking alleyways like a ninja at this point. <laughs> yeah. Do I have I have I seen the ogres that were running away at all? Uh, the they like I mean there's tons of back alleys and stuff here. Uh, give yourself a perception at disadvantage. Uh, okay. Uh, you think you see one of them in the distance? Yeah. Like head, cool. to, head uh, to the west. Um, I'm going to jump up onto one of the roofs. Okay. Uh, and basically use my full movement to get as high as I can. Okay. I'm still trying to track the ogre, like running in the direction that he was running, but I want to get up as like the highest point that I can. And then I want to toss the um, thing into the air. The like the, the 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 bomb into the air, and I want to use my scorching ray um, knuckle to blast scorching rays at it to blow it up in the air. Oh, okay, hoping that the preemptive blow will be less of a destruction than it blowing itself up. Yeah. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, so what I'm gonna get you to do then? <clears throat> uh, I would like an uh, athletics check from you to see how far away you can throw this like fairly hefty bag. Okay. All right, all right. I mean, you throw it one way or another. You throw it, um, and uh, yeah, go ahead and and you. Um, I'm just gonna let you hit it. I don't I don't see you missing it at this point. Uh, basically, what I'm gonna have you do is make a dexterity save for me, please. Okay. Okay. Um, so that. Uh, would be enough, and I believe you have evasion, so... right? Mm, no, you don't. Sorry, I'm the, you're a cleric in this one. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting the classes confused. Okay, so you're gonna take half damage, um, but it okay. is not as much as if it blown itself up. You're gonna take ten points of fire damage, as, as you okay. just, like, huck it into the air, blast it with your knuckle things, and you just take a bit of, like, the fiery splash damage on the edge. Um, but none of the buildings are damaged. No one else got hurt. Wonderful. Just fireworks in the sky. Fucking um, 80s to, moment. Did I have to use all of my movement to get up to the highest point, or would I have anything left? Um, you you probably... Oh, no, you're moving at double movement right now, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm moving at six, 60 feet. Well, it was an action to throw it, though. Uh, I'd say you still have, about, like, 30 movement like half your movement okay, left. Yeah, well, I'm just using that to get towards the ogre so that I can fucking arrest the fuck. All right. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, Drake. Uh, pass it when you're done. He's got a good head start on you, but you'll be able to catch up. <laughs> you're faster. Um, there's only one dude left that's doing anything. So, uh, but Michael C, he's the one beside you. What are you doing? Same thing. I'm just gonna be beating him up with the hammer. Mish. All right, that's another thirteen. Oops, missed one. I'll do it again. Like just on a pop, pop. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're hammering him down. Um, at this point, I'm just gonna call the guys. He's at, he's he's low. He's giving up. He would just like drop his weapon and like I'm done. I'm done. Um, which would be the end of combat because there is no way Luth LJ's not catching up to the dude. <laughs> And like the other dude who left after me, I'm gonna try and get him to. Uh, There's still the one beside me. That that one's gonna make it. Uh, oh, this guy's giving up as well. Well, once all his buddies give up, if there's one left, I just had it that they were giving up. So, yeah, so I'm gonna just start handcuffing this guy then. Yeah, so let me, let me collect all these dudes together. <clears throat> uh, he's unconscious. Uh, and then I'll convert them all in case you want to like pilfer from their bodies. <clears throat> uh, and then there was uh, you you catch the one dude. 
Uh, we'll just drag over one of the guys that was going to be reinforcements. But they never got a chance to call for reinforcements. Now, get bodied. There you go. Rid of this circle. Uh, helps if I do the right thing. There we go. Yep. Yeah, I had like uh, I had like another car to like bring out here. <laughs> I was like, here we go, another car. Oh fuck, another car. Yeah. Yeah. There was a point in time where I was gonna see if I can like take the car and slam it against them. Yeah, because I have cool. it so the cars aren't actually part of the map. Like I can move them around and hide them and stuff too. So nice. I was smart. You are always smart. Uh, thank you. All right. Uh, yeah. So that is the end of combat. Um, the only only one of the civilians died. Uh, there's a couple of like looks like customers that were freaking freaking the fuck out there, and one of the proprietors, um, the dark person, like the goth chick behind the counter, she's just like sobbing over her friend. Is and everyone all right? Please, let's go check on the civilians. And LJ, you like, you'll come back in a minute, like, tugging this one guy handcuffed with you. Not even handcuffed, because I didn't have handcuffs on me. I just have, like, rope. Oh, I just go. roped him off and, like, strapped him so I could, like, one hand him over my shoulder and just drag him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shit, I don't have handcuffs. <laughs> well, the one guy's probably handcuffed because I had some on me. Yeah. Okay. Which you, you, which you can keep on you, like, it's, it's fine. I go over to her to make a police report. Uh, yeah, she's like shaking and like looking around. She's like, are you, are you police officers? Yes, I am police officer. I am terribly sorry for this bad experience. Can you please tell me your name? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Are you, you're a rusky, you Sam? You're a police officer? I'm, can you please tell me your name? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's insert civilian's name here. Yeah, uh, let's, let's call her Amy. Amy? Yeah. Amy, my name is Amy. Okay, Amy, please, can you step over here away from dead body? Please? Yeah. Do you know this man? Y yeah, yeah, he, I, I work with him. I'm so sorry, um... Can, can you just stay here for a second, please? I have to go talk to friends. Sure. I'm totally lost. I don't know what to do. Um, there's a dead body on the floor. <laughs> and this girl is shaking. And uh, she's too emotional and I can't, mm, can't think. I'm going to push the call board to her. <laughs> And I, I would like to, for story building purposes, just just uh, remind the one thing that we I had mentioned before. Although you were technically working for the government, you are a secret agency. So if the cops do show up, they'll have no idea who you are. Oh shit! Okay. Um. We should probably get out of here. Get the fuck out. <laughs> uh, however, you are also downtown Compton. It may take a bit. <laughs> that is very much true. Uh. <laughs> So on Amy, I'm just going to tell her if the police or anybody else asks, we were never here. Oh, uh, please exclude us from your story. Yeah, if you know what's good for you. I, th I thought you were police. No, oh, I lied. Oh, suggestion. Oh, she yeah. just she, fuck 18. She just fails. <laughs> okay. It's like, oh, you were never here. <laughs> yeah, never here. Never. Thank you, cowboy. That's just said that out loud. You guys do know that you've you've got a hot second. Like uh, LJ easily comes back with the dude he captured. Unfortunately, the other one is going to get away because um, they just like scattered, and you have no idea where he went. Um, but in total, one of them dead. But in total, you managed to get stop six of them. Uh, uh, six out of the eight. With us? I think we should take the grenades and I don't know if anybody needs weapons, but I already pocketed a grenade. Do we take like one for questioning? Too. Yo, it's Pokemon. 
Yeah, let's take them all. And your the, office is like right down the street. Yeah, it's, it's right across the street. Let's take them all with us, yeah? Is there no. keys in this car? Like, do any of them have keys on them? Uh, yeah, skin? like one of them has like a key, like to the car. The badly damaged, kind of squished car. It's also been like shot up a bit, but it's a car. It's fine. We'll find somebody who knows mending. So I'll tell the, I'll uh, look at these two and be like, you're safe now. Never speak of this again. And I'm going to try and like intimidate them into that. Sure, roll intimidation. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that's an, they're just regular people. Uh, and you've got your towering frame. Like, it, to them, you just look like a big dude. Um, but you're still a big dude. And, like, a lot of shit just happened. They're like, whoa, man, I ain't gonna say a thing. Oh, you get, you saved our butts, whatever the fuck, man. That's, I don't care. <laughs> Good. Obey the law. <laughs> and I'll just yes. walk out. <laughs> In Russia, the law obeys you. Fucking, well, and you hear them in the background being like, "Wow, they're like fucking superheroes or something, dude." I know, right? They like that, like, they, oh man, they should make movies about that shit. I'll grab one of these guys and start dragging them to the uh, to our place. Pick up three of them. Yeah, let's let's load oh. them in the trunk. Uh, grab a couple uh, of them. Okay, so you're gonna like just grab a couple of them and like. Put them in the trunk of the car and just yeah, uh, just bear hug three of them and just put them in the trunk. And and I'm yeah. gonna assume your place has like a garage around back for a vehicle. Um, that's yes. just something I think that your place would have to have. It's assumed. Um, so you've got a place you can park it. Yeah, um, you do now. Yeah, we got a car now. <laughs> well, the tires popped, so you're gonna have a fun time driving it. The cobalt. Yeah, push it. It's down the street. Yeah, it's just down the street. I mean, some, I've seen videos of freaking ladies forgetting their po tires popped and driving down yeah. the highway. <laughs> yeah, down the highway, you just got this like raggedy tire, and they're just like. Rrr, rrr. Touché, touché. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, well, I guess we'll just uh, drag these guys, put them in the car, and drive them around the block. I guess to the back entrance. Okay, yes. so you grab three of them. Uh, before we switch scenes, uh, is there anything else you guys need to loot from any of them? Uh, no, I got everything I want. Did we check all their pockets? Grenades? Yeah, they've got oh, grenades. If anybody needs an SMG, they've, uh, there's pistol ammo on some of them. They've all got great axes. I'll take all. I'll take pistol ammo if there's any left. I just how do you you just click on them or double click on them? No, the, to the right of it, there should be some symbols there. Uh, loot stack or loot item. It looks like boxes or a little hand. I mean to op like to open it. To, oh, double click on their icon, yeah, the token. Oh, okay. You, you should be able to click double click on them and their their inventory options should show up there. Um, these guys weren't exactly carrying anything in the way of money on them. It's part of the reason they were here. Unfortunately, there wasn't much money to split, just stuff. Um, in the future, when you fight guys, a lot of them will carry money on them. You'll notice it in the money, and there'll be like a split currency that'll just give it to everybody. These guys, unfortunately, were poor. That's why they're doing a jewelry heist. <laughs> Badly. Um, LJ's dragging the one motherfucker, or like loading him into the car, like, you picked the wrong day and you picked the wrong motherfucker, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, okay, we're just gonna like copy these three guys. Okay. Like, I told them they had more to worry about. Oh, hydrate. Oh, hydrate. Uh, okay. Put them there. We're gonna need tokens for you guys. Have we, like, seen these guys before? Do we know, like, their affiliation? Um, day? you haven't seen these particular guys. It doesn't look like they're part of a formal gang or anything like that. Oh, there we go. And here, boop. Okay, and move everyone over to the office. Like a 
does them all in. Get in there, get in there. And we'll move over to see our pretty faces again. From far, that one guy looks like Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> so getting into the office, um, did I even set up walls for this? I didn't bother. No, I didn't need it. <clears throat> um, so getting in the office, uh, here you go. Oh, for these are the old tokens for random people. Drag out NPCs, generics. Let's see which images we get because it's random. Looks like a dude and a guy. Dude and a lady. My name is dude. My name is guy. Hey, it's Amy. <laughs> hey, yeah. Amy. Yeah. It's a it's a random photo which one it picks every time I drag this icon out. So. Looks like it's Amy again. <sighs> All right, so you you go up a couple of floors to your office. You've got the car like parked around back in what's like a basically like a secret garage. It's sort of masqueraded not to look like a garage. I mean, your secret organization. You're like a supernatural men in black, basically, just with a few more budget cuts. And so is this office like secret and secret? Yeah, no one knows about this office. You're above the, you chose a, it was a library uh, slash like youth center. Roz is yeah. downstairs. Like when you come in, she welcomes you. She's like, hey again, welcome, welcome. Enter at your own risk. Hey Roz, is there fresh coffee? <laughs> it's like two days old. It's as fresh as it's getting. That's the way I like it. A week at her, let her know there is no risk. I'm not looking, honey, but thank you. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you head up. Uh, there's a there's a couple of like your you want to say like sort of like interns, except they have like super level S plus security clearance in order to even be working here. Um, and then you've got the other places. You got Nancy there that is like the assistant slash secretary even though she's got like this super military killer background and you know that your boss jack striker striker is here as well as uh the detective should be in somewhere as well um can we let nancy know that well or i'll let nancy know that we need a cleanup crew down uh at the jewelry store she looks at you oh cleanup crew um, what is uh time that you do dirty deed uh, about a uh, half an hour ago, we killed a couple ogres. Okay, Amy, call is a good time. I get to clean up, no problem. Thank you, Nancy. She'll get on that shit. I'm gonna go find me some two day old coffee. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look at the interns, book these guys. Yeah, there's like, there's like coffee in like the kitchen area, stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, the intern looks at him, looks at you, and goes like, "Book them where?" <laughs> I look all confused. Like they broke the law. Uh, I'll put them in the bathroom. She's just intern. Take them to uh, Striker. Interrogate uh them in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Yep. I'm putting them in the men's bathroom. <laughs> Don't do that. I'll follow Michael. All right. Yeah. I got some questions I want to ask him. Yeah, feel free. All right. So you're, you're, you like bring him in, like chain him to the, to a stall or something like that. They just calmly sit there and everything's very clean. Like you've got a very good cleaning staff and stuff like that. Um, so like, yeah, there's like dudes I, i'm gonna put them like in the stalls like the doors are open <laughs> as as ski bops doing that can i cast a spell zone of truth in the bathroom oh this yeah. is all this is all you i'm watching you do this <laughs> this is all I, you uh, I'm, gonna I'm, gonna in, I'm gonna stay on guard like a bodyguard right here just i talk i don't i don't i don't touch okay so you cast zone of truth uh let's see here and, and yeah uh in the bathroom. They get a save, charisma save. They're not very good at that. Uh, it's 13. One of them actually made it. <laughs> the other two did not. Uh, the one that's actually healthier seems to have made it. The other two are just sitting like they're just completely, they have to tell the truth. 
I'm gonna strut in with my hands on my waist and be like, alright, who are you guys working for? You better tell this man everything he wants. He's crazy. Um, the the magnificent guy, like, he's like, we're never going to tell you. And the other two are like, we don't work for anybody. We just kind of work for ourselves. Shut up. <laughs> I can't help it. <clears throat> hey, were you in a movie? I was. I was in a bunch of movies. Oh, that's so cool, man. Nice to meet you. Listen, we don't want this to get ugly now. Wait, maybe we shouldn't. Uh, yeah, uh, I have my hammer out. But listen, good. try to tell him again. Okay. Huh? Yeah. What? What's going on? So who are you working for? Oh, we're not working for anybody. I know you're lying. Um, there is a real truth. I'm, I'm not <laughs> lying. Not lying. I'm not lying. Use magic to stop it. I'm not lying. What movies were you in? Were you in Romancing the Stone? That's like one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Maybe I was. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> I, I told you Michael was crazy. You, you, you better tell him <laughs> where the rest of you are, where the hideout is. I'm just standing guard at the door. Uh, <laughs> Robocop, do you need polishing and i hold up a polish a rag a little buffer yeah, a little buffer um yeah the guy so, so like the, the magnificent guy keeps telling the other two shut up and the other two are just like oh no we don't work for anybody no it's just like our ideas we're like fuck we're poor we could use like some money you know have any weed in a while we're like we need some money and we're like hey jewelry stores we could like sell the jewelry and and we could get money for like weed and shit man <laughs> See, a few of your buddies, though, got away. Yeah. So, yeah. where would they have gone? Uh, probably my mom's house. That's We kind of, like, hang out in the basement. Where's your mom's house? What's her name? Oh, uh, my mom's house is on uh, 33 uh, Crescent Lane. Um, it's uh, in Inglewood. And, uh, I mean, her, her name is Mary. Uh, and about, where's your dad? Is he there? No, he's he's gone. He left years ago. So you and your buddies just hang out in your mom's basement? Yeah, man. We just like smoke a lot of weed and like like talk about things and we never even done I anything like this before. I ain't yeah. fine, Pop. The lying. <laughs> Didn't you just do magic so they can't lie? I mean, the magnificent Tusker's yeah. like, yeah, they're lying. Don't pay attention to them. 33 Crescent Lane sounds pretty specific. Like, so his mom is the operation, the, the brains. Well, I, I guess, like, if we want to go arrest the rest of these guys, you know, the ones that got away, because I think a couple of them managed to run out the back alley there, but they're lying. They're not at 33 Crescent Lane. Yeah, they are. It's like a duplex. It's on the right one. It's the one with the blue siding. Shut up. <laughs> what is the last name? Uh, 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 Tusker. The right, I'm going to go look at I'm going to go look at a phone book. Okay. And try and find uh Tusker at 33 Crescent Lane. Okay, yeah, you you like search through like uh, you like flick through the phone book just like find it. Um go down there's like two Tuskers in LA and like one of them is at like 33 Crescent and you're like, "Yeah, there's there's one." It's like M M Tusker. He's not lying. There is one there. And I'll show them the uh, phone book. Oh, damn it, shut up! Yeah, that sounds right. Look, Robocop, I don't know about your methods, but we shouldn't hit them with a phone book. They're compliant. That is not going to happen. If you want to hit them with the phone book, you can, though. I'm not going to stop you. Please don't hit me no. with the phone book. You're not my dad. I was showing the that he does live there. Oh, I see, I see. The phone book's open, like, to the page, and I'm, like, showing you. <laughs> I'm not going to be paying attention. I'm just going to be looking in the mirror. I'm like, what's the verdict, Bop? What do you think? Well, do we have jail cells? Uh, you guys, in, in the basement, you've got a holding center. Um, I'm going to say you've got, like, a special holding center. There, there's cells that are magically enchanted to contain pretty much anything you capture. 
Well, maybe we should go talk to the boss and tell them the information that we got and see what we're so we should do, but... We just haven't finished that map yet. <laughs> we just throw these guys in the clink and go about our business. Good idea. Maybe go check out this uh, Mary Tusker. Let's go ask the boss. Oh, please don't get my mom involved. She didn't know we were doing this. No, we're just after your buddies that got away. Oh, sure. yeah. No, do not shoot mom. You no, know, she'd probably be real disappointed in you, you know? You're currently chained up in a bathroom. That's not a good look. No, that's true. You look like porn star. Maybe if you keep cooperating, we won't tell her what you did. Uh, that would be appreciated. Thank you. I've, I've never done anything like this before. We just like, what? you know, things are real tough right now. Like, Reagan hasn't been, like, kind on my family. Uh, no, I, I get that, man. I get that. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Bill. All right, Bill Tusker. All right, let's get you downstairs. We'll get you some food, you know, nice pillow. Oh, thanks. You know, you're not too bad for uh, the popo. Shut up! I guess we'll bring them all down to the cells. All right, all right. Uh, I'll just stick them to the side here for the now. They're like in limbo behind a wall. <laughs> all right, let's go talk to the boss, I guess. Um. All right. Uh. So, like, while they're questioning, uh, the the what are you, the rest of you doing anything else different? Like, uh, LJ, I noticed you were like in the in the office with Nancy there for a while. Yeah, yeah, I was probably, like, while I was sitting there discussing what, what went down um, in full detail while they were interrogating them. Uh, she, like, she, she does the call thing for the cleanup, and then she's, like, listening to your story. She's like, oh, you know he's going to tear you a new one, right? He's not going to be a fun time for you. I I, I I tried to save everybody I could. There's not much else that I could do, so I'll he's, just have to take those licks. He's okay. You you know how he gets. He's okay. Uh, I mean, oh, and hello, welcome back to office, by the way. Um, well, thank you. Good luck. Um, uh, and you know he he's hopefully all back, no bite, anyways. Who go, who are you going to replace you with, huh? It's true. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, who's who's smoother than our crew? Probably everybody, but uh, uh, who knows? <laughs> you really know how to make a guy feel welcome here. Uh, during my uh, time in Japan, I learned how to talk plainly. No mincing words. Very good, Nancy. Um... Mr. Striker will see you now. I open the door for everybody. I just hold it open. And you hear very, very uh in um only only me catches this because it's in Russian, but you hear basically in Russian, may God have mercy on your soul. Ah. <clears throat> um and yeah, you, you come in, Detective Ben Smurges is there. He's got like uh, like a jelly donut. He's eating it. It's like squirting onto onto his shirt in front of him. Um, uh, Mr. Stryker's there behind the desk and he's he looks just disgusted and enraged all at the same time. And as you get in, he's like, damn it, close the door. Get in here. I could hear the explosions from here, damn it! Hey, that explosion killed zero people, so, uh, a little thank you might be nice. Going in there, guns of blazes, god damn it again! What have, we have talked about this, people! I gave them the chance to surrender. They ignored. Did anyone die? One person died. Tragically. Uh, we're gonna have to explain this. Any damage? The windows were busted, and as you know, there was an explosion. And I think some more damage was done. But I can't no, remember. 
no damage from the explosion, just a little singe, just some singed dreads. It's better than that time you burned down that fire hall, at least. Jeez, fuck. So the we floor wasn't burnt or damaged? No. Weird explosion. We also managed to get rid of a bomb and arrest six of the people. So. Yeah, the only explosion yeah, that happened was a uh, frag grenade. So it was just like little bits of stuff flying about, basically. A frag grenade was still damaged the floor. It was outside, though. Oh. I thought yeah, it was I hit outside. It was outside near the car. The car actually absorbed most of it. Oh, yeah, that's right. The car it looked like it was about to blow. Yep. <laughs> we have damaged car in garage. Well, at least you got rid of the damn car. Uh, out of sight, at least. God, fuck, damn it. You should have your badges for this. I should give you badges first, and then have your badges for this. <laughs> then who will do your dirty work? Are you saying we're getting badges? Oh, God damn it, Nancy, get the badges! So I can take them away again. I hate yeah. all of you. I don't know how I got stuck with you. You're a bunch of incompetent fools. All right, I got a job for you. Smurges here, and he says it with, like complete disgust. Smurges <sighs> says there's something up nearby. Cars getting solo in Compton, but there's something, uh, some weird about it. You know what I mean? You better know what I mean. Fuckers know what I mean. We gotta look into it. If it's nothing supernatural, fuck it. Pass off the real popos. I don't give a shit. But if it's some supernatural about it, we gotta learn about it. We gotta know about more about it and fucking deal with it. But with no fucking casualties this time. Do you understand? Do my best. Clear as mud, sir. God damn it, my blood pressure must be high right now. I gotta take like three more. He like like pops like a half a bottle of blood pressure pills. Huh? Anyway. You want a smoke, sir? Yeah. yeah, I need a smoke. Smoking helps with blood pressure. There you go. Only like 50 today. Okay. Sir, that might not be good for your health. No, you shut your don't mouth! Don't you read medical <laughs> articles? It, these are great for your health. I haven't read medical articles since NOM. They don't lie to you. <laughs> All right. Smurges here's got the details, uh, where to go and then who to talk to and shit like that. Get the hell out of my office. Enough of this. <laughs> God right. damn it. And he like he goes over to a record player in the back and he puts on what seems to be like calm like piano music with like birds and crickets and stuff in the background. I guess he doesn't totally understand the situation we're in. <laughs> I hold the door for everybody. Come, come. Thank you, Smirnoff. You're welcome. Smurge is like go and like take a seat on the couch. <laughs> Alright, Smurges, first question. Most important question. Yeah. Where'd you get that jelly donut? <laughs> oh, I brought a box of them for the office, uh, but it was a long wait. So, really, uh, how you uh, I'm so full. Hey, it's them all. Hey, it's them all. Oh, there's no extra jelly donut? <laughs> Thanks, Keeps. Uh, no, there's, there's, there's no extra jelly donuts. Nope. <laughs> Please give us details on what makes this, uh, what is this, carjacking? Uh, yeah, it's just stealing cars. <laughs> what makes it odd and supernatural? Here's the, here's the thing that makes it odd and supernatural. Um, is, is when they take the cars, see, and then we go and we ask them about the cars. Um, <laughs> the, the people around them say, hey, his car was stolen. But the victim's like, no, I don't have a car. Even though they got a car registered in their name, they always, like, deny they have a car. So, um... Oh, it's coming back up on me. Why is it fish? Um, so I think there's something funny going on there. Maybe some brainwashing? Maybe they wash their brains, I don't know. Yeah, I'm so just, watching of the brain seems to be what's happening. I'm just a detective. I can't figure shit like that out. Well, um, I'm gonna let my buddies ask more questions, and I'm just gonna write this on a computer. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
So you go to a computer, there's like a big clunky switch, so like cut clunk, and then a beep, and so you're like waiting for it to spin up. Yeah. I want to look at yeah. I want to look at John Blaze and just say like, do we trust her on our computers? <laughs> you ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we're allowing the Soviet on our computers. <laughs> um, so like Sturgis is looking at you, and from out of nowhere, he seems to be eating another jelly donut. You don't know where it came from. Sturgis, you just said you there were that you didn't have any more. This is the last one, I promise you. Look, I'm a pretty chill cat, but like that's messed up. This was what this was the one for my lunch. Yeah. Well, is there a place where, where we would normally get like patched up in here? Uh, I mean, you guys, you guys kind of do a lot of your own healing. You, you've got an agreement at um the um um the host, the nearby hospital. There's like you basically go in and there's a doctor there that will patch you up, no questions asked. If okay. if anything is like major or like needs to be done, basically there's there's like an elven doctor there, magical. But I mean, you also have a cleric in the party, so you don't have to do it too often. You kind of have your own healing. Yeah, but he has to use magic. Yeah. But I mean, you're a mixture of, of like a flaming skull guy and a tiny dragon dude and like an elf dude, and you're kind of used to magic. No, 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 that's not the point. He has to use his resources. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I come back in and uh, I ask, like, uh, did you say where the location of these uh, carjackings were? Oh, mostly around Com- Compton, like around this area. Okay, that's useful information. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and uh, there's a list on the one desk. Uh, with all like the license plate numbers of the cars. Okay. And do you know of the very last um, reported accidents? Like actual address? Uh, it should be on the list there, I think. Okay. It, it was like, it was pretty nearby. Um, Where is it? It's like on the, it's on the one desk near the computer in the office. I don't know. It's like I put it on one of the desks. I think. I think I put it on one of the desks. I'm pretty sure I brought it to the office. You are a very good friend. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I have one final question before we head out for you. Oh Where yeah. You? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm on. Well, I'm, I'm on the clock, but I'm taking a break anyways. Where are the jelly donuts? <laughs> no, I I ate them. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're all gone. Do you want to check him for jelly donuts? I'll pat them down. You bring him to the zone of truth. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, it's Sturges. Like, you know, the re- only reason he's still on the force at all, because he's on the LAPD, not XLA, is t- tenure, basically. Like, he's just been on for too long. Like, he's detective, and they just can't fire him anymore. Yeah. Um, before we head out, I'm going to use uh, Mass Cure Wounds. Okay. You guys can also just take a rest if you like want to just wait around for a while. Take a long rest right here. You can take it or just a short rest with and use hit dice as well. It's up to you how long you want to take. If you want to do like paperwork for eight hours or something, do it up. I take a nap right here on the couch right next to the smurges right here. Sure. Yeah. Well, he will will eventually leave. He he has to go back to the LAPD because he's got to actually like pretend to work. I'm going to brew a fresh pot of coffee and smoke half a pack of cigarettes. All right. Oh, and, and it's, of course, it's the 80s. So, like, everyone, like, everyone in here smokes. It's just, there's a wall of smoke everywhere. There's, like, one chair in the corner that has a sign on it that says not smoking. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't want to be near the smoke. That, that, that's doing that, that short rest. That would be LJ. LJ doesn't smoke. All right, there's, like, the one table in the corner here. It's, like, the non-smoking section. Because that makes a difference. Okay, so we're only short resting. It's up to you guys. 
Oh, it's up to you, yeah, if you guys want to long rest. I want it to long rest. I think a long rest is beneficial. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is there a spot where I could go, like, recharge? Uh, yeah, I'd say, like, they, they were, like, there's a spot they kind of set you up in the closet with. Um, just sort of stand the there as, like, in the corner. yeah, like, the closet in the corner. That's, like, your, like, charging spot if you want. Okay, right it's there. got a lock from the inside as well, so that... Yeah, uh, sure. I don't fully trust these people. Why would a robot need privacy? What is he, jerking off? <laughs> No, he's, oh. he's, he's jacking in, not off. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Jack in so much. <laughs> Jack in. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, go. Everyone gets your your long rest if you if you wish. I go to this guy. I'm like, hey, handsome. What is your story? Um, I uh. Oh. Uh, uh, well, I work here, uh, see a monk from Texas, and, uh, I was part of the, you know, a couple of other little secret things around here, and government's like, hey, you understand about the, the supernatural? And I was like, I understand about it, I fought vampires once, you know, so they were like, hey, I work for this organization up in LA, and I was like, "Well, sure, let's let's work up with this organization up in LA, and as long as you get to shoot people that aren't people at least." And they're like, "Hey, fucking give her, man!" And I was like, "All right, I'll fucking give her." That was a nice story, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, you're familiar with vampires, doc? Uh, familiar with killing, yeah. Well, that's good. Cool. Do, uh, do you have any tips for a new vampire slate? I mean, like, people are like, hey, you gotta stick them in the heart. That's not true. You can just, like, blow them to bits, but make sure you, like, take their head off after, and then, like, then it's, like, handy to stake them in the heart or shit, but, like, you know, a brick of C4 is gonna do bad shit to them if you stick it up the ass, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, like, zombie, y'all? Yeah? What's that? Like, zombie? Oh, no. oh, oh, that, uh, Night of the Living Dead movie. I heard yeah, of that. Night of the Living Dead, yeah? Yeah, 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 I heard of that. Um, never been much for horrors, but... Well, I think it's a very popular movie. Yeah, well, I, I could see, yeah, I mean, I stick a dynamite out of work, but I don't think you need C4 for that. Hmm. I mean, like, the, the decapitation part. <laughs> I mean, there's not much shit that will survive decapitation. You know what I mean? Chicken and roaches? I mean, I ain't fought no mystical roaches. And I <laughs> sure as hell wasn't going around with a buck knife and like chopping off roaches' heads and stuff. You know what I mean? I just use gas. The, yes, true. But those are just things that survive with uh, decapitation. Okay, well, you're oddly specific, lady. Gotta yes, be sir. a little more laid back. I mean, welcome to our country. As long as you I ain't taking see secrets back to your old Ruska pals, it's fine. Uh, we will accept a red bitch like yourself in the office. But, uh, you know, calm, chill a bit. <laughs> just kneel down just a little bit and pat him on the head. It's like, thank you for all the uh, tips. Hey, uh, th thank you for breaking from the Reds. Sure, yeah, va. <laughs> just like walk away. <laughs> so you guys have rested up like eight hours go by of, of a mixture of like naps on the couch, paperwork, charging, things like this. Um, the eight hours just uh, just eats by. I mean, paperwork takes a while. You did. I mean, a grenade went off and you did one person died and stuff. And although you don't have to answer to the LAPD, um, someone still finances your organization and wants to know de the deets. So it's good to good to have those reports in. I think uh, LJ takes some time during that rest to like work out and contemplate and like shed a, a, a tear in, in private over not being able to rescue that dude. All right. Yeah. Just like, I was so close. He was right there. You were like, you were like flashbacks to your time in the, uh, it was the Iran Iraq war that you were in, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you have like flashbacks to the Iran Iraq war and you're like, I could have saved Jimmy. <laughs> I could have saved so many people. That was just faster. If I saw that, I would 
Like, do, do I notice him being upset while he's working out? Oh, most likely, yeah. Just go over and be like, hey, man, you did your best. Uh, no, thanks, brother. Thanks, but I know it's just, it's rough, man. It takes me back to the war. It's a hard situation. You can't always stand by the decisions, but you got to stand by the decisions, you know? Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you, brother. Maybe you can play me one of them tunes. You want something sad or you want something jazzy? Uh, yes, to all of the above. All right, this is something I've been working up. And I'll play... I only have a horn, but it is a saxophone. Yeah, I mean, just rename it a saxophone if you want. That's fine. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a pretty get, damn good roll. So, yeah, you've got that, like, it's the sad, jazzy, like you'd see in, like, a detective movie or something at one point. And uh, in the background, the... And uh, he plays it. Everyone's kind of grooving to it, actually. It's calming in its own way. Awesome. I grabbed the list that the uh, guy mentioned that had the license plate and the address of the last. Um... It looks like it's about a, a dozen or so that they've been, been able to pin down at least. It looks like they're having a hard time pinning them down since no one's actually reporting these thefts except friends of the victims. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you you've got one. You've got one in the local area. Um, it's just in in like a little neighborhood, not too far away. It looks like it's in, in like uh, a tenement style area, just like rows of of like fairly like low quality apartments and stuff like that as well. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go to Nancy and ask her, do we have anything to run license plates with? Ah, yeah, we can, uh, um, it's, it's good, we can run license plates, uh, and, uh, well, what, uh, um, I, what, what information do you want with the license plate? Mm, I want to see if there's some kind of connection with the cars, like maybe where they were purchased, or what type of car they are, or even color, um, location where they were stolen, or reported stolen? Oh, you we can do that. That one there, uh, but still, I'm in charge. I'm more to the lot. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, Please, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, she'll she'll look uh, go through in here. She's like, uh, okay, um, looks like a mixture of cars. Um, last one was uh, not a bad car. It looks like a, like wood paneled station wagon type thing good repair um, i mean not none of these cars seem like top of the line so to so speak oh raggedy piece of shit it, yeah so far but at least the ones that we've caught you know yes oh that's all that matters though yes um it's a pattern he's pattern he's pattern um yes. But uh, it mostly seems uh, the ones we've caught in Compton, but that just may be because those are ones we have focused on. Uh, uh, there is uh, there is one also in um, uh, Rancho Palos Verdes. So you're saying there's a report of a stolen car? <clears throat> Same kind of a... Same kind of report where the victim Same says that Same kind of report. Happened. That one is little bit better. That that one was Lamborghini. Oh, Lamborghini was stolen where? In uh, Palos Verdes. Okay, 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 okay. Um, can you spell that for me? I'm not from here. Sure, sure. And here, let's let's bring everyone over to the map a quick one. Oh, all the way on the south bit of the map. It's right there. Oh wait, uh, uh, south, 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 uh, oh, Rancho? Yeah, Rancho. Okay. And by the way, one thing I've added since our session zero is you'll notice over each area, there's some filled in dots. Um, this is how noticed in that area the supernatural has been. If it ever reaches five dots, it means that that area, people have like, come to accept that the supernatural is there, which is a bad thing. Yes. Is there any way we can reduce that? 
Uh, yes, if you guys like do either going around talking to people or maybe help launch a like a media campaign or or like I mean you can figure out other creative ways just to sort of convince people it was not supernatural or dissuade people or things like that. Also taking out supernatural threats if there's threats in the area that will lower it as well. Okay. Nice. Good to know. Good to know. So uh, I let everybody know that there um, there is a uh, a report that's kind of out the way of Compton, and the car kind of breaks the pat pattern because it's a Lamborghini that's stolen in uh, Rancho Palos Verdes. But most of the reports are in Compton. Oh, I love the coast. Yes, it's very beautiful. Shall we go to this Rancho Palos Verdes case since it's very much more different? Yeah, I mean, if we can wrap this up early enough, uh, there's a nice ice cream place on the beach uh, on the waterfront that uh, I'd love to hit up. Hmm. I can use ice cream too. Maybe before we go. Yeah, we should probably do that first, right? Yes, first. <laughs> Ice cream sounds very good to, to like. Not what if it's closed by the time we done? Let's go then now, da. Yeah, I mean, it was first thing in the morning when you originally dealt with stuff, and then you waited eight hours. It, it's actually only like say three in the afternoon. We need to go get ice cream before they close. I think they close. <laughs> <laughs> There's crime afoot, but more importantly, ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wants the ice cream. It's going to be cold by the time we're done. I was just looking out. Yeah. In our secret garage, is there like any means of fixing up this car so it's... So we have a mechanic. Yes, I was, uh, I was also going to be giving you guys a free van if you guys just like wanted to travel all together. Uh, it's oh hell yeah! So the like, van. there's like, yeah, there's <laughs> like a like a black panel van that you guys can take. Uh, oh, that's lovely. It, uh, yeah, and and you know, I'm gonna do it anyways. Yeah, um, you've got you've got a mechanic guy down there that actually like repairs the vehicles and stuff, um, but is also a bit of an artist. So your black panel van was supposed to remain black and he got in trouble for from jack striker for this but instead there's now a like woman in a chainmail bikini riding two polar bears one on each foot as like lightning storms happen behind her all on the side of the van that's mm -hmm. sick <laughs> my approves of this stuff <laughs> that that's that's amazing so not the sneakiest of vans at the moment is it volkswagen um, he's taken all the up. markings off of it, and so many parts have been replaced. You're not sure what make of van it was. Better not be full <laughs> <clears throat> Um, but yeah, he's uh, um, his name is Samuel. Emotion. Uh, oh, geez, Jake Fishy, what the fuck? Hot potato. Let's see who has the hot potato? What? They must who if they want to talk or can decide what happens with the potato explodes. How am I supposed what? to work uh, that into uh, the story? <laughs> Next action sequence, I will do something to do with this hot potato. It'll probably be a bomb of some kind. I can't guarantee it'll happen right away. But next action sequence, I will make a note of it, Jake Fishy. Your hot potato will happen. I'll make a way. I'll make a way it happens. Maybe a bomb, grenade, maybe that didn't quite go off. <laughs> Delete uh, that from his memory. <laughs> uh, so are, are you guys? And, and so yeah, you go down there. His name is Samuel. Um, he's like a refined, like southern gentleman type of thing. Um, but he fixes up your vehicles for you. Uh, he's actually like looking at your like new car right now. He's and he's like, I say this is one hell of a terrible vehicle that you have brought me. It has not been tended to whatsoever any time in the last while. You think you can fix? Oh, I can fix it all right. But it's, it's had like, I don't even know they ever done an oil change on it. Which, I mean, do you know how often you gotta change your oil? It's a hell of a lot more than that. I didn't stop to ask him, Samuel. 
Well, that's true. I'm sorry. I, I get off a little bit, you know. You know, our no, southern I... types, we like to just jab and yak all over. Just get some sweet tea and just, just jibber jab all day long. You know what I mean? Can I offer you a cigarette? Oh, I'm already smoking five. I got them all around that garage here, but uh, well, thank you. Thank you anyway. Let I'll it take right this it. Oh, here. I got plenty. Oh, all right. All right. Well, are you taking out the van? Uh, we got all the spare keys on the wall there. Yeah, we'll, we'll take out the van, but when you're fixing up this, uh, this fine automobile here, can you uh, paint it black? You want to paint it black? I can paint oh, it black. Yeah, you want a glossy or matte? Matte it, please. Matte? Yes. I can do matte black. You want any oh, special pictures to... on it? I can do like a phoenix or something. No, but can you tint the windows to the darkest it can get legally? I like the way you think. Oh, uh, the darkest we can get illegal? Oh, we can go pretty damn dark. Uh, hey, we can go pretty damn dark. Just get it the darkest tint you can legally without this getting pulled over. Uh, you got it, lady. I would like sheet music along the one side, like the door. Sheet music. All right. All right. So matte black tinted, tinted windows so dark they get pulled over in Alabama and no, sheet music no on the side. <laughs> White sheet music. This uh, fucking foghorn <laughs> leghorn motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He almost sounds like Mater. Mater? <laughs> Mater? I think that's his name from Cars. I'm going to go get in the driver's seat of the black van and realize that I'm much too short to reach the pedal. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just open the, like, slide the door open. I'm, I'm assuming it's a slide door. Yeah, it's, it's, just gonna, it's a slide on the side. Just hold it for everybody. Like, I'll I can the hold the door. I'll, uh, I'll go into the driver's side. And, like, the um, the front is a bench seat as well. Oh, so it fits like three people. Yeah, you can like fit like three in the front, and there's like uh like some bench seats on the sides as in the back, as well as um you've got like a makeshift like almost like a workshop table or something to work on there, like in some basic tools, just in case you ever needed them for some reason. Oh, cool. um, yeah, I just hold the door open for people. Really like holding doors, eh? There, Smirnoff. I'm more gentlemanly than most of people here in America. Huh. Sounds like they're learning real manners. I imagine it's a damn sight better than them old them Ruskies you were with before. You're learning some American manners now. Yeah, the American manners are not too bad. Holding the door is the more favorite one. Yeah, well, Get in. American it's manners just... is the best manners you find on the planet. Da. This man knows his stuff. <laughs> How's your wife, Samuel? She's all right. She's all right. <laughs> Woman's got it in her brain. She wants to go off and look for some work of her own. Well, I said I'll be up for it. I'm one of them progressive types. I'll be okay with it. That's a hell of a question to ask. It sounds it sounds very like shady at the same time. <laughs> oh, she's doing good. She got that new study buddy of hers. She's thinking to go back to school as well. His name is Dave. They're together all the time. They're like best friends. <laughs> You are fucking Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I'm pr I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure your wife's fucking Dave. <laughs> I tries to say it without dying laughing. No, Dave seems like a sweet man. I doubt he'd do something like yeah, that. He understands Women. the honor of the South. He's a bit of a Southerner himself. Man is man, no matter what. I'm telling you now, as woman to man. He, she's fucking Oh, dead. it may be different or behind the red curtain or iron wall, whatever the fuck you call you it. You gotta make this about the red curtain. This is about regular human human interaction. He's around her all the time more than you. Oh, they're just good <laughs> friends. Listen, you just get in your He's van. He's a sweet guy. You're too low, little on. I'm gonna hawk the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking hawk horn at me. I hold door. You better be fucking glad. Why did yeah, I tell I'm you good. about starting the van before we open the doors? You're gonna kill us all. Jesus. Yeah, what the fuck wrong with you, stupid? It's like opening I the don't doors. Breathe. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, get, don't breathe. <laughs> get in and like <laughs> get into the van and still look at me like I'm pretty sure Samuel's wife is fucking Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there and nod. Like, <laughs> I, I, I just yell it like I just put my head in the car like I told him that his wife is fucking Dave, <laughs> but he doesn't I'll, believe. I'll look in the rear view at you like just turn my head and be like, she is. <laughs> no, I don't know why y'all keep saying that. My wife's not fucking Dave. She's fucking Mary. Okay. Her name's no. Mary. She's not fucking Dave. Go, Dave's her friend. Go home early today. Uh, yeah. I got clock in early. some extra hours. No, Mr. Striker, he's gonna... gonna have my ass. I painted his back with a home? lizard on it. He didn't like that. <laughs> You can just tell him that it's a majesty, which I'm it really gonna, is. I'm going to suggest Dave to probably cut home early and check on his wife. Yes, go home early. How much you want to bet that she's cheating? I bet you. Y'all real hung up on this. You get mixed and mingled in other people's we lives. Just trying to, You're trying like to that help old you. lady across the street is always peeking out of curtains being like, Mrs. So-and-so, he's like doing something bad on the lawn with the lawn gnomes and all that shit. And that, we just yeah, trying to, you, you, should, you should probably ask your nosy neighbor if your wife is fucking Dave. See, so yeah. she'll know. Well, I mean, she probably say button. yes no matter what's happening. You know, boy, Biddy's eye. Please believe your friends when they tell you that your wife ain't shit and she's cheating on you. <laughs> Mary is a fine woman and she might be shit, but you, you should definitely check on. Uh, you putting all sorts of bad thoughts in my head. Uh, all right, maybe I'll check this out. Yeah, and tell them that uh, you, you, your wife is in hospital. You need to check on her and go home and check on her. We'll vote for you. Oh, oh well, if you're voting for me, I guess Mr. Strike, I can't really argue that one. <sighs> Shit, it looks like I'm going home early today. That's just... It doesn't even matter if it was true or not. That man is unreasonable. I mean, Mr. Strike is Mr. Strike, but he's the boss, man. But yeah, all right, I'll go home early. Y'all get out of town here. You just, just get out. I'll go, I'll go lock up. You got the keys to get back in. Oh, uh, thank you very much, Stan. I get in the car myself, but I'm like so big. I'm just like. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'll hit the garage door button on, okay. the, on, the, on the panel there, or the um, visor. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I should like ride by myself on a motorcycle or something because I'm on fire and can't really sit in cars. Uh, so, Boy, get your head so you guys are heading down to Paulus Virtus, uh, and mm. the name for the car is written as Amber Crystal, but you don't know which one's the first name and which one's the last. So it might be Crystal oh. Amber or Amber Crystal, but you have an appro- you have an address and and where it's registered to. We go get our train first. Um, and uh, with that, you're gonna get down to Palos Verdes, and in the uh, approximate area, um, it's like in central. I mean, I, I'm not gonna bother dropping a pin for it, but it's 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 we can do like here. It's like, and they're they're probably bugging me enough to actually go get ice cream, so I'll like do a quick stop. You do a quick a quick stop on on the way. It's uh, uh that is the wrong select tool. All right, so uh yeah, it's like it's like in the middle of like the suburbs there. <clears throat> um, what the burger? There's there's a there's a fair amount of somewhat nicer houses. It's it's a mixture in this area. Um. But there's yeah, there's a couple of ice cream shops. There's a there's a really nice place in Torrance on the way. So you you'll stop and get like ice cream. Man, they just made this new bubblegum flavor. I love that shit. It's so good. Do you guys have coffee flavored ice cream? Oh, coffee flavored. Oh yeah, we got we got a new one. It's coffee flavored. Uh, it's it's one of the new ones. I, I just hold out my travel mug of coffee and say, just give me a scoop. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Oh, we're breaking all the rules today, baby. It's fine. Oh, okay. That's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> but here, here you go. <laughs> and I drink my coffee float. <laughs> oh, my I God. Asked for, <laughs> I asked for red velvet ice cream. 
I don't, I don't have that. I got tiger. Yo. You tiger. Don't, what? Okay, whatever. Um. Yeah, I'll, man, it's... I'll take the bubble gum, whatever flavor, da. I don't know what da means. You sound it's foreign. Good, it's great. Are you from France? <laughs> Can I throw uh, the? Can I throw my Louis Vuitton purse at him? <laughs> you throw. You're like you go full Karen and throw your fucking purse at him. She's like, shut yeah. up. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Give me the fucking ice cream. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here's your purse back, man. Give me my, give me my shit back. <laughs> oh god, I, I feel like I need to earn more than three dollars an hour. <laughs> this is gonna raise too. How old are you, kid? Oh, I'm I'm getting pretty old now. I'm in seventeen and a half. You will make me sick. Fucking oh, America. Oh, 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 could you not harass the guy who's giving us ice cream and He's fucking, fucking saying that? No, 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 no! Stop! 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 Why is the man has done nothing wrong. Why is the fresh? Take, 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 take your ice cream and go. Just take your ice cream and go. Turn around. Don't make me sick. I can yell too, bitch. Why is, don't make me sick. Why is the French girl <laughs> so angry? Ah, uh, who knows? Who knows, man? Here, let me. Let, first of all, thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna take a scoop with uh, one of the waffle cones. Um, and uh, here, man, and I'm gonna give him. Uh, like, I'll pay for the ice creams, but I'll also tip him. So I'll just like give him a ten. Oh, oh, thanks. So keep, keep the change, man. Put it, uh, put that money away. Save it for, uh, for for when, uh, save save it for college or whatever. You know, you going to college? You plan on going to college? Oh yeah, Stand. yeah. <laughs> they say computers yeah. are are gonna be a real big thing. Oh, I don't believe that. He is don't right. <laughs> no, computer, computers are just. How about you spend that money on a book to learn the value of a dollar? Can I just get a regular chocolate cone? Oh yeah, here you go. And I'm gonna bring it over to John Blaze. I'm gonna like look at it. Uh, I mean, I, I don't. Like, I'm just here cream. for the summer. I don't even live in LA, but I'm gonna go to learn about computers. I like try to put it up to your face, and it melts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming to Torrance to Ice Cream. Yeah, you're all right, kid. Man, the, the, thanks. Uh, yeah. So you, everyone has their ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy got a purse thrown at him. <laughs> LJ's gonna look at me like, why you gotta be so fucking rude to everybody all the time? Excuse me, I'm not rude to everybody all the time. This fact is the you, first you, time you, I was rude you, today. This fact was the first time I was rude today. You and just grew a purse on a fucking a, a, a teenager. I lost my <laughs> shit. You just threw a purse at a teenager. What the fuck is wrong with you? I did not throw a purse. I throw a Louis Vuitton bag at him. He should feel honored. honored. I, don't, I don't care what kind of purse it is or bag oh, it is. You, 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 you keep it to yourself. Keep it on your person. Fucking American. You hey, fucking psychopath. We Listen. work as a team, right? One of us runs head first into a hostage situation. The other throws a purse. <laughs> We stick I together. just take orders and I, I I take orders and I listen. He said go and I went go. So yeah, I went hit first in that situation. And so I go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with yeah, that. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Robocop is like, stop with your ice cream. We need to go. <laughs> you can't, uh, you can't uh, enjoy ice cream. I cannot eat your ice cream. <laughs> Like you're missing out. <laughs> this argument is pointless. Get in the van. <laughs> um, so technology is pointless. Somebody uh, needs to clip him saying, "Get in the van." Get in the van. <laughs> get, in the van. <laughs> get in the van. Uh, so you guys get in the van. Uh, you got some like rock and tunes playing in the background and stuff, and you head to Palos Verdes. Um, you finally get to the area. It's it's actually a fairly nice area in Palos Verdes. It's not like super rich homes or anything, but upper class, upper class for sure. Um, and you finally get to uh, what looks to be like a two story building, um, like a three car garage. 
Uh, there's one car in the driveway right now. Uh, looks like looks like it's a like a, a pickup truck, but like a really nice one. The type of pickup truck where like you know the person that bought it never imagined they'd actually use it as an actual pickup truck. Like there's no scuff marks or wear on it. Okay. The last car that was stolen in this location was a Lamborghini. I did not get the color. Sorry. But I have the license plates. <laughs> but uh, I think we should uh, follow up with this report because this one is not in the usual location, which is around Compton. That's just update on mission. Uh. Should we just go uh, knock at the door or? So I'm not uh, going to actually pull into the driveway. I'm going to pull up like in front of the house. Okay. Like on the street. Yeah. We're here. Thank you, Robocop. I think it's that much better that he's in a van with like the Viking lady riding the two polar bears and a lightning storm on the side. And it's Robocop in the front being like, <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> if you guys give me an hour, I can bring out a spider familiar and we can send it to like look in the garage. Ooh, I'll be okay with that. That sounds very uh good plan. We can hang out for an hour and uh we probably shouldn't hang out like directly in front of the house. You couldn't have summoned the giant spider when we were making ice cream or getting yeah, it's ice a regular cream. spider and I didn't know we were gonna need it. He's just don't sitting there them. eating ice cream and spider. <laughs> don't be rude. Don't yell at him. He's trying his best. Oh, 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 he's he's not right. Don't be rude. <laughs> oh no. Should I clap? Should I clap him with? Should I clap him with my with my with my uh with my bag? Should, okay. should, I, should, I, should I clap him with my duffel bag now? I mean, if you feel that way, if you feel that way, but you do not. Is that the procedure? Is that how we do things? Is that? He wouldn't. He wouldn't feel honored. He wouldn't. He wouldn't feel honored. It's not name brand. He'll feel disgusted. Go no good. Oh, hug it out. Stop. I want you guys to hug right now. If I hug this tiny man, I'll squish him. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. I guess we'll back in the van. Okay. And then I'll. I'll uh, find familiar for the next hour while we kind of just cruise around. All right. Know, we'll does it take? Where does it really take right. an hour? It takes an hour. Yeah. Oh shit. I don't have like the faster thing that makes it 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, you just chill just... in the van, van for an hour. Okay. Um, I would like, I would like for mm, I'm Chi, roll me a percentile, please. Uh, is that like the D10? It's, a, it's the... the 2D10 one on the, the end there on the right hand, the right hand dice. This one? You got it. You got it. All right. Yeah, you rolled high enough. So near the end of that hour, um, as you're just sitting there in a black panel van in a nice neighborhood, um, <laughs> cherries light up behind you and you hear a whoop, whoop. Are, are we not driving? Or oh, were we just sitting oh, there? Oh, I, yeah, I, I, mean, I didn't hear that you guys were driving. I just thought you were still sitting there. No, well, if they told me to like, drive around, I would have, yeah. Robocop uh, didn't no, drive around. Let's go. No, we had pulled over, but then if you guys said like drive around, yeah, he didn't. He didn't start driving. It was like suggested from yeah. the GM. Okay, all right, then that will change things. If you're if you're driving around, then that won't happen. You just have your hour, and it's fine. As long as you're not, not in a black, pa but you're not. Okay, so so what is the answer? Are you were you driving or not? No, it was only suggested by you, but no one told RoboCop to go. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah, no, I was parked then. Yeah, yeah, all right. So in that case, yeah, it's like. Um, it like a trooper or not true. Uh, an officer comes out LAPD <clears throat> um, Doesn't seem to have a partner or anything. It looks like he's solo um, But he he uh, comes up Knocks in the window here. They hit like the I'll, uh, I'll roll the window down Is there a problem officer? Well, just doing a little check here. Uh, seems we got a call in the neighborhood. Uh, there's a uh, mysterious suspicious van kind of parked around here got a number of uh and he's like looking in and like got a number of individuals just kind of sitting in a van want to tell me what you're doing here people um i use like 
what I consider is like an American impression. <laughs> it's like, uh, no, like totally. We were literally like waiting, like on a friend, and yeah. Uh, I'm gonna open the van door and be like, okay, guys, I, I got him, I got him. As I hold the spider familiar, okay, and say, you know. Oh, we were just pulled over trying to find this spider. We couldn't possibly drive until we found it, and then I'm gonna put it into the grass. I uh, see. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get a deception check um, from Ski Bop, please. That's pretty good. Like, all right, I get that. I'm none too fond of spiders myself. Uh, all right. Tell you what, um, maybe just don't sit in this nice neighborhood for too much longer. You hear? I will be circling the background in about twenty minutes. If you're still here? We're gonna have a conversation. Um, sound good? Thank you, officer, for doing your job well. Yeah. Anytime. You uh, fine group of mixed people. Have a good day. Like racist. Still here. But okay, bye. <laughs> as fast as you can. Um, yeah, he, he goes back to his car and like he sits there for a minute, obviously like filling something out before he finally takes off. And with that, before you guys go in, uh, it's 10 o'clock. This is our normal time to stop anyways. Um, it's like, I do have the next part planned, but I think getting into it at this point would probably be a mistake because <laughs> it could it could lead in, lead into some stuff. So I think that is a good time to stop for tonight. Uh, we got some good stuff done up and uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope the game has been going well for everybody. Yeah, yeah. I, had a lot of fun. I like the thing. I like it. Got our, our crazy 1980s D and D thing going on XL87. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, anyone that's in the background watching, thank you for being here. Whether you're on the the YouTube's or the Twitch, uh, all of that good stuff. Um, if you are on just the Twitch right now, please go over to the YouTube. Give a little like, like and subscribe and everything. The YouTube is what I tend to try to focus on these days. I would really like to get monetized there and getting to that point on YouTube is a little harder than getting to that point on Twitch. So I'm still working on it. I'm getting close though. So if you can give a little subscribe, that'd be super nice. Um, but other than that, I think we are uh, having a good one. Thank you for everyone for being here. And let's do a raid for the people on the Twitch side. Let's see who we got going yep. on. Freshman 11 is playing Dead by Daylight. 11 is playing Dead by Daylight. Oh, 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 I'm hearing myself twice. There we go. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of others that I... Yeah, we can do that. All right, let's do that one. Sure, why not? I have them on my list. Are they in the Friendos or Chew Bakery or something? Is that why? Must be. Must be. Freshie's in the Friendos, no? Pretty sure he is. Yep. All right. Raid. Oop. Okay, so we're gonna go raid over there. We're gonna watch some Dead by Daylight. As always, let them know where you came from. Stick around for a few minutes to say hello. Give them some love. All that good times. All right, stay healthy, stay safe. Have a good one, eh? For you and on the YouTubes.